Welcome, podcast time. I'm I'm really sorry that Blake uh, couldn't be here again this week. It's a whole thing. He is on an adventure. He's on a quest that he's been sent on. He's like in the frozen tundras of Alaska or something, fighting moose. And he has the pedophile mustache. And he says that it's currently around minus thirty degrees, which is, I believe. Where Fahrenheit and Celsius meet, where they're the same temperature. So if you can grasp what minus 30 is in any language, you know how cold that is. It's cold enough to literally freeze your fucking dick off. So, dude, unfortunately, Blake will not be joining us this week. But what he will do is answer some questions for us. He Just like what I did with Artie when he had a quinceanera or a funeral or another quinceanera followed by a funeral <laughs> when when he couldn't when he that's couldn't be pattern. here. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes, right? Dude, as one person turns 15, they execute another one, cartel <laughs> style. Pass it to a Santorio, pass why, another life. Dude, every Friday after a quinceanera, dude, they behead the oldest abuela in the family. <laughs> 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 That's sad, dude. Mexican culture is very confusing. Day of the Dead is an odd time. That's, that's, why, that, that's why the voters have such a hard time with us. Yeah, it's got to be tough. Yeah, it's because you're just holding be- uh, decapitated heads of your grandmas. It's crazy. When the pollsters come to town and you guys are fucking sawing off after you're a 15-year-old has a beautiful dress off sawing off her grandma's head. It's fucking crazy. Very confusing. You, but it smells delightful that, uh, in there. Everything smells like empanadas. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? And then you wonder where the carne asada came from. <laughs> well, she, she, we got her to cook one last time before we fucking... But... <laughs> <laughs> the recipe went with her. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Between, like, brick. You're, what, you're not going to cook? It's your daughter's quinceanera. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, so Blake, and, uh, he uh, recorded a bunch of questions uh, or answers to questions that I gave him for us, and he sent them in, and we will be guessing what Blake says. Who's I don't even kind of remember. I sent him just a bunch of nonsense. So uh, it's going to be fun to see what it is. Most of them, I think, are just opinion-based questions, so it's going to be next to impossible to get, but I think we're going to have a fun time. Got some really, really interesting Bull versus moose news. I'm so okay. glad that we brought that up in the pre-show. We were talking heavy, heavy moose bull stuff. Me and Artie, team fucking bull. Team fucking bull yeah, till I die because they are like Martin's wife. Literally everyone around Martin. Martin is surrounded by bull, team bull right now. He's like, and it's terrifying. I got Dave. I'm good. Dave is is a gay faggot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. The only <laughs> the only moose that can beat the bull is a demon from that horror movie, The Ritual. That's it. I don't know you what guys, that means. You got to do some I crazy hate, shit to summon him. I hate that he's on my team, but yeah, fucking right. <laughs> fucking the team demon thing that he said. Oh yeah. I'm dude. I'm backing you up, man. We're on the same team here, so I gotta back you up. So just don't say that again, because I don't know the fuck you're talking about with the demon. Yeah, demon moose. If we're adding demon moose in, that's crazy. We're going to have witchcraft yeah. in this. Well, oh, well, my bull Speaking knows which, my bull knows fucking Hogwarts spells. Like, also- Speaking of which, have you ever have you ever known anyone that was a Taurus? <sighs> which is uh astrology? anyone born from May uh, April to May? That's who's on your team, dude. Did you just hit <laughs> astrology? What the fuck, dude? We're all Yeah, the- it's a yeah. We're winning <laughs> this argument, man, and you're making us lose. Not like, anymore. Dude, shit. I might right. switch teams. I might, I might just sharpen a few moose antlers and call it a bull and go like, dude, now I just got a big bull. Fuck with me now. Dude, now that bull's going to read story time to your kids. Dude, if I could, if I could carve down, if I can pencil sharpener a moose horn into just two spear-like ones like a bull, I might yeah. change my answer because I think accidentally they're going to kill a lot more people. But they just got these, like, if, coat hooks. It's crazy. If the moose can do, like, leg day, 
for like a fucking couple years. Yeah. That's... So they don't have fucking stick legs. Yeah, I'm gonna jump. John... Then I'll be yeah, fucking team moose. Yeah, you oblique kick a fucking uh, moose, it goes down. Yeah. And you have to put it down and they turn it into glue. But we yeah. got so much moose One news. One aluminum baseball bat to a moose leg, and it's done for. Then you can just wail on it because it's like on one leg now. Yeah, moose, uh, moose news. Fucking more, uh, more crazy shit. I have some what the fuck videos that you're gonna you're gonna hate probably or love. We'll never know. And uh, uh, we're gonna check out on the midget wrestling that I think that we looked at a long Floor time coon. ago. Yeah, it, it's a like yeah mini <laughs> wrestling whatever foundation. Uh, it's Pretty great. It's been going on for quite some time now. Haven't checked in with it for a long period of time, but uh, they're still banging out the classics. But before any of that, did you know that th- that I think we did this before? Did we look at AMMA? AMMA. Last week I showed you ice hockey. This week I'm showing you armored MMA, where they weigh. Weigh-, weigh. So like I think we looked at it before, where it's literally like a just a gi- there was a giant guy. I think it was the the guy from Game of Thrones, that big huge guy who fucking he just wears a big mountain. huge suit. Yeah, the mountain. He wore like a big huge suit, and then he got like five guys in armor and just fucking. Oh, yeah. ba- they were just fighting people, and uh, cool. it yeah, it was that. But there's a whole league of it. I think we looked at it before, and it's. A uh, like a guy, they have weapons now. I didn't know that they had weapons, so now it's a full fledged night fight in an MMA arena. That I was like, I don't think so. (laughs) I don't think so. I'm gonna go with no, but it should be. But like, uh, maybe they're executed off camera, like the backstage. Maybe they have like a quinceanera or whatever. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, the fucking, yeah, the losers quinceanera, and but. Um, I was looking at this and I was like, "Oh shit, this kind of rules." This I, I was a big fan of this. If we could get a couple of suits of armor, I might bring back backyard fighting. I might bring it back. I might bring it back if we can get if we can get the budget for a suit of two. We need two suits of armor and and some swords. And I will bring back backyard armored MMA. MMA. It, it's unstoppable. Check this out. Fun. Check these guys out. Here's the tail of the tape. MM, MM, MM Crusades. It's, it's all right. Uh, so we got uh, Brian Stutz. He's from Nashville, Tennessee. He's 5'11", 190 pounds. He has one year of armored MMA fighting experience, and he's 31 years old. Then Mitch McClull. McClull. Oh, I take him. You're going to take Dude, look at his hat. Dude, I got to just go by haircut. He sounds Scottish. Yeah, right? Yeah, he's he does this in the streets. And sizable height advantage, 6'4", uh, 180 oh, yeah. pounds, two and a half feet. This guy has been armored MMA fighting for two and a half years. That is crazy. Dude, like, he's put in time. He's, like, he's on a training circuit. He has, yeah, like, well, a gym. What's the win-loss ratio? I know they don't show the win-loss ratio, but it, but it is sponsored by Tennessee Burt. <laughs> 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 it's Burt. Tennessee butt hurt. What the fuck is that? I don't know. It's like you're saying butt hurt really fast. It's very confusing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you never got a Tennessee butt hurt? Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's where I put on a full suit of armor. <laughs> yeah, well, I do yeah. <laughs> my balls. <laughs> Fucking archaic ass armor. <laughs> <laughs> they get an entire walkout. In the suit of armor. Whoa. This rules. Why are they playing like some? Nah, these are gal Game of Thrones like, fucking theme song playing. They should be playing like yeah. fucking like uh yeah some sort of RuneScape style. Well, like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Like oh wait wait wait. wait 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 wait. Do you guys remember wait. those those uh AI generated like? loot versions of Eminem or whatever like it was like medieval yeah. medieval slipknot yeah, I, or whatever I sent you that. yeah those fucking hold on hold on a second we might be able to make this block out oh shit <laughs> fuck i fucked Yo. everything everything's fucked everything's fucked we're back yeah look up uh, medieval fucked. Eminem okay yeah what well, what was is there another one i remember the medieval uh right, yeah, there's a whole new song now medieval song. cover songs i need it i need this i need this in my life hold on i just need to i need to get the juices flowing i need a little bit of medieval cover songs to to get the walk out uh bad romance something somebody that i used to know wait hold on here it is i found it i found the answer i found the one 
Here we go. Let's get back. Let's let him. Let's uh, let him cook. Nah, I sent. I, I found a better one. You think you found a better one? All right, I'm gonna. Ryan, I sent you one on Discord. I, I, I'm gonna trust. I'm gonna trust. I'm gonna trust Martin on it. I'm gonna trust him. Let's see. He's he oh. cooks with these. Oh, okay, hold on. Martin Martin cooked. Martin Martin <laughs> fully cooked. He he filet mignoned this. He fucking it, it's it's over well done. Just the way I like it. <laughs> Try to get the song already. This is a way better walkout, though. Way better. This is a retarded version. <laughs> it is. Is this food chicken? No. Oh. This is a real made song. Why is it... Why is it like that? I don't like it. I like the, the fingers. The fingers? Snap. The finger snap. The fingers. Yeah, I, I don't it's, know what that is. It's supposed to be a uh, wet-ass pussy. By, uh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the fucking Megan Stallion. But I guess it doesn't really have much more to it other than that. Nah. I thought it had more. They don't really do a lot, but yeah. Okay. But anyway, they, uh, after they do the full walkout, they get into the ring and it's kind of retarded. They have a guy. So this is the part that confuses me is that I was like, oh, there's a third guy in there. What the fuck's he got? And then I realized this is his ref stick. So he has a stick that rather than uh, rather than fucking like then getting in the middle of them, he's got this little stick with a flag so he can kind of like pry them apart. Like, hey, 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 back apart, back apart, because he doesn't want to get hit by the swords that are swinging in the middle of the ring. So <laughs> he wears like a lacrosse outfit and he has this as a sword as the referee. And then I guess you get to just like customize your shit because this guy's got like feathers and like a, a fun little mask on. Yeah, it's a distraction. Yeah, I like that. But inside of like a Bellator style MMA ring, they just they do medieval fights. So the rep just hits you in the head with a stick to call it off? I think so. Like he waves it in the middle of you. Like he tries to pry you apart. It's like a pry bar. Like you nah, gotta hit him in the head with it. Yeah, you might give you a bonk. That's like a yellow card. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at one point, can he summon like a horse as a kill streak and just run oh, around? Oh, you can use kicks? Yeah, oh, it's everything. It's full MMA just with swords <laughs> and shields. That's the okay, thing. You can do grapple. Yes, you can do. They're going no to do jujitsu. Look, they're grappling now. It's it's medieval grappling, but he's hitting you with sword uppercuts. <laughs> he's yeah, this looks odd. It Ryan, looks like I it moves. That I that you play the song I sent you, and if it sucks, then I'll never ask for a song again for the rest. I feel of the like year. I've made this deal with you before, and I feel like you've lost it. But I'm gonna do that. Sometimes, sometimes he nails Some, it. Sometimes. Okay, hold on. This is the. Put twenty seconds in. Twenty seconds in. Okay. And then do mine. I'm cooking. You guys are making me cook too much. I'm overcooked. I'm burnt. Ten seconds. <laughs> Wait, what the <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. Uh, what is this already? I know what it is. Do you know it, Martin? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is fucking these are terrible. Put a minute thirty. I think we lost Artie. Oh, Artie, yeah, he couldn't handle it. I'm trying to think. Oh, no, he's he, back. he couldn't handle it. He couldn't, you couldn't handle it. No, I'm you know it. That was supposed to be. You know it. <laughs> you gotta know that. It's so easy. Come is on. that Macarena? It is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Oh, 
Try yours out. The fucking yes. commentary is my favorite part. Like, yeah, that was great. Wait, good, good strike. Good takedown in the in the suit. They are allowed to drop their weapons when they're on the ground. I put Vivaldi on. <laughs> yeah, but it get this. It's only twenty seconds in. Is this winter? Is this is winter now. Uh, no. Or like that. Or is it summer? Yeah, not what I'm reading. No, this is winter. It's neither. No, this is Vivaldi winter. It's neither. It's actually Trap Lord. <laughs> no, but it kind of rules. If we could get this, if we could figure out how to do that uh, somehow, can you rent suits of armor? Is that a thing that you can do? Is there a place that allows how you to do this? There's some recreational places that have how much that does shit for How much does it cost to rent out medieval times? Like the whole venue? Yeah, let's get the whole thing. Let's get the whole thing. Right. Let's sit uh, top to bottom. Well, I, I we just, missed our opportunity during COVID. Like yeah, when cheap. it was shut down. Oh, dude, we could just get the suits in there, fucking fight each other in the middle of the ring to an empty arena. Just fucking Blake. Like just Blake in the stand guard. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! But you also have to have a lot of Medicare because a lot of morbidly obese people are there. <laughs> dude, no, we're, nobody else is going to be there. It's just us. It's just medieval times. Our medieval times. It's like Cartman where he got his own theme park, like uh, for, like cheap. Well, that's but kind he had of what to keep hiring during COVID. It was probably dirt cheap to just get medieval times. Be like, yeah, I would like a, a medieval one medieval times, please. I would like the whole thing, please. <laughs> I and want the I, horses I, with the the horse have dresses and shit. Yeah, yeah. Crusade yeah. logo. Yeah, so according to Reddit, it's around twenty grand on the high side or fifteen hundred. What? Fifteen. Oh, fifteen hundred just for the chain mail. Hmm. Okay, like, so we're talking about the then mail? we can get three grand for like suits of armors and maybe a horse. But <laughs> how much chain mail are we talking here? How many outfits can we make with the chain mail? That's just for the. Artie's worried about stuff. how many outfits we can design. That's hilarious. Like, how many Instagram photos am I going to get? We have. <laughs> All right, they break it down even right? more. Some people so use neck 200 mail. for a pair of mittens, 600 for fully fingered. Uh, I will obviously, for... that's what I love. We know that. That's what... Yeah. I love to be fully. A basic caress for two hundred. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ! Yeah, probably Extra closer lump. to fifteen to twenty k. Twenty k. All right, but you get twenty k. We rent out medieval times, and Dude, we see. To get tits first. Yeah, when uh, you know what, we're gonna put that on the back burner, and we're gonna get <sighs> fucking winner gets tits. We have a Mortal Kombat <sighs> style fight in the middle of medieval times, and last man standing gets tits. But with the Mortal Kombat 2 AI, that's very difficult to deal with. No, no AI. Just us. All real people. All right. Mortal Kombat I'm tournament, down. but it's medieval times. I'm, I'm in. But, all right. Uh, I, hope you guys are, I hope you guys are fucking ready because it's time for everybody's favorite thing. Who said what's it? Who? No. Even better. Hey, it's my shirt. It's Moose versus Bull. It's the most important thing that we've ever done as a community is tried to figure out what's scarier, a moose or a bull. Who would win in a fight, moose or bull? What's going to happen? Who would win if we fought it, moose or bull? We've answered all the questions, but we're going to find out the one true form today. So I was finally, people send me all the time. I see people die from bulls regularly, and it's getting annoying. Please stop. I'm good. I'm good. I've seen it all. I've actually seen every way of dying. I've seen the one where the guy gets fully impaled up his asshole. I've seen it. I've seen the one where the guy is just, like, thrown up in the air, and he does, like, a hacky sack with the guy, and he just keeps impaling him and throwing him up in the air and stab. It's crazy. He's, it was very. I've seen it all. But I never see anything happen with mooses. I never, even, I never see them even attack. The best I've ever seen them is, like, kick close to a person or maybe hit them slightly or, like, damage somebody's vehicle by slamming into it but this time i finally saw it so the first video i've gotten two this week first video is just a guy encountering a moose in the wild and we're gonna have to guess what happened next because the video just cuts off 
So it's very Blair Witch style. So, um, that's a big ass moose. That's a big ass moose. He looks crazy. You're giving him the side eye. Look at that. <laughs> that's a good, that's a meme in itself. Plastic side eye. Suspicious gopher? It's close enough, bud. It's <laughs> <laughs> so Canadian. <laughs> this nigga is about to get dramatic fucking gophered right now. <laughs> Dude, that was the most Canadian thing that anybody has ever said ever. He just said, that's close enough, buddy, to the fucking moose yeah. that's side-eyeing him. And the moose looked at him like he's fucking crazy. He's like, are you fucking with me right now? You just call me buddy. I ain't your buddy guy. And he's like, I ain't your guy, buddy. And they just fucking go off on each other. This is crazy. Better start running, hoser. That's close enough. Well, fuck, he asked me so nicely, and I am Canadian. <laughs> he's like, I have a dilemma. My instinct tells me to run this man over and stomp him until he's red mist. But he did say, that's close enough, buddy. He Like, that's the, that's like the, that's, that's the Canadian fucking, I'm fucking walking here to New York. You know, that's, hey, that's close enough, buddy. That's about as offensive we get on the street. And to, to a Canadian, that's fighting words. You say that to me as we're crossing on the sidewalk. Hey, that's close enough, buddy. I go, hey, fucking buddy, what are you fucking saying there, fella? And then we fucking fight until one <laughs> of our fella, tukes, buddy. one of we fight until one of our tukes hits the ground, and that's the, the, that man lost. That's how mm -hmm. we fight in Canada. First man's tuke to hit the ground is the loser. But yeah, so this uh, this moose side eyes this guy. It's close enough, buddy. <laughs> it's just oh, like side -eye. it's like. I'm telling you, that's fighting words in Canada. He's antagonizing this moose. He just called the moose a faggot. It's crazy. That's <laughs> insane. You can't be doing that stuff. It's close enough. Fuck you. Oh, he's licking his Get lips out of here. Go. Oh. Go. Nope. That's the oh, scariest <laughs> face. That, that, dude. I watched it. I'm like, you're, I, I fucked up. That's See, a demon well, moose. I. That's a fucking ritual moose. I don't know. I don't like. I don't know what's going on with this moose. This doesn't feel like a normal moose. This moose feels like it has Down syndrome. He's got. This might be a Kevin moose. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. He's probably believing in his dreams. Uh, like he's just out here trying to film a music video. And... How about we try short distance, fucker? <laughs> nope. Dude, that's hey, hey, hey. <laughs> like you can. You don't know what happens. We have no idea what happens. It just ends. He's side eyeing him pretty good though. I feel like the tree helped. I feel like how do even mooses get through the forest? I feel like it's constant. Like, hey, bob it's and like, weave. Bob have you ever weave. tried bob to like weave. fit through like a doorway with like a long piece of wood? I feel like that's what he's constantly doing <laughs> in the fucking forest, where he's just like bonking his antlers off of every little thing. Like he's getting caught in between two. He's fucking getting hung up on a ton of it. Like I, I think it's a problem. Hey, hey, hey. So I don't. I think he got caught up on the tree, and I think the guy ran away. I think that's what nah. happened. Yeah, I think he's fine. But I got a second one. So that wasn't enough for me. Again, I feel like that was nothing. But what do you mean nothing? Did you see that moose's fucking face? No, that yeah, he was crazy. That's a crazy autistic moose. I don't know what the fuck happened. He was probably vaccinated. I heard in Canada they vaccinated all the moose. But uh, what happened uh, is you have to go deeper down the rabbit hole. Canadian moose. They're they're pussies. They're nothing. They you they'll just you can just walk all oh, over. Different Canadian kinds moose. of moose. Yeah, you could just ride a moose from Canada. I think that's what the Mounties ride. No, that's illegal. No, I no shirtless. You got to keep your yeah, shirt on. No, that's the thing. You can't ride it shirtless <laughs> because that's the most that's the patriotic. Whole song about that. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> that's, that's the most patriotic <laughs> thing you can do is ride your moose shirtless. But. Uh, yeah, there's a whole different. Wanna cut breed. loose, ride my moose. That was one of the greatest lines in all of songwriting history. I, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> let loose, ride my moose. This fucking goes hard. But uh, so yeah, there's a whole different breed of of moose, 
up in Russia. A Russian moose, Ooh. different breed. So uh, take a look at this. Here's a man sitting kindly in his car. Well, uh, a, his friends are arrow hunting a moose. I think they're, but they have oh, yeah. they have guns. But I, I think this guy has a gun and a bow. I'm not sure, but it's very tough to tell. I think it might just fuck be a up, gun. Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Come on, get him! <laughs> Holy shit! Блять, стреляйте, ёбаный в рот! Is that a car? So yeah. Just drive away. But so the one of his arms is red. The one of his arms is red. Yes, because he's been shot right here. I think this might be the exit wound. So he was shot on the other side. He's that, probably that guy's got a crazy. bigger crazy eye thing going on. Yes. That's, she got shot, man. This moose goose has been shot multiple times, and then he just it's stomped to going. death a Russian. <laughs> but again, I think the guy's going to survive. I think he's going to make it. If this was a yeah. bull, he would be dead. He would be fully dead. He would yeah. be impaled, and he would be stomped to death, and it would be over. He's He's also shot. Yes, he is shot. He is shot, but I think the bull... Well, let's shoot a bull and do the same thing. I Yeah, you're well, right. Well, that Russian guy in the car is just stalling. And it's also a 3v1. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. You bailed him out. <laughs> you did. You bailed him out. I did not bail him out. You I laughed, dude. I did not laugh. I was. It was, it was a groan of pain. Martin, it was a... You immediately responded. So yes. Thank you. You said you, uh, you 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 did you ignored it actually. I didn't even hear it. At first. I know you. <laughs> then I got it. It hit you like a wave later. Like a later. It was like oh fuck. <laughs> oh Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he was stalling. For anyone out there that didn't get it, they're Russian and Stalin. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Glad Dodge isn't hearing this. <laughs> He's out there in the wild with kidney failure or something. <laughs> you have to listen to the pre-show to hear Dodge's kidney failure story. Dodge yeah. in the wild analysis? Is that crack pipe on the dashboard? Uh, no, I think that's uh, probably like insurance or something. Uh, oh, that's a crack. Like, no, I think it's a pack of cigarettes. No, yeah, it's a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, pack, I could kill for one. <laughs> Go get yourself some cigarettes already. Go to the store. Grab yourself a pack of cigarettes. He's not going to come back after that, though. You think he's going to leave like my father did? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Artie, you wouldn't yeah. do that. You would come back with the cigarettes, right? Yeah. Artie! <laughs> Don't well, no! I'm, you're acting I'll just like here. my. Wait, are you gonna tell me you're gonna leave, get some cigarettes, and start doing porn on the internet? Uh, I'll never tell. <laughs> no, Artie. I'll, I'll All have my to find out on the podcast later. Okay. Dude, everyone that I look up to eventually does porn, so I'm gonna tell you that it's gonna happen to all of you. Every single one of you, it's just gonna, it's gonna happen. You say, get ready. I hope you guys are packing heat. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're waiting, AT and T girl. Yeah, but you just like just like the Kevin Hogg reveal, we're waiting for the Artie Hogg reveal. We've all been waiting. Yeah. Um. All right. So that brings me to the last piece of Bull versus right, Moose news. Yeah, there's pull. But there, there's a lot. So the last time we I go. went through <laughs> the AI uh, rabbit hole of putting mooses versus bulls against each other, Moose came out victorious. Moose won. Every like almost every single time when I was like they're locked in a cage, they fight until the death, the bull's gonna die. That's what's gonna happen every single time. But what I didn't ask was the original question was what would you rather fight? I don't give a shit who's tougher, animal versus ever. This is MMA math. What we're asking is if you, Artie, you, Martin, me, faggot, were stuck in a cage and fighting a one of these animals, which one is going to kill you? Which one is superior? Both which one? Which Both. one? Well, odds are yes, but which one do you have a higher chance of winning? Even if it's a one out of ten, even if it's a point one percent chance, who is going to be easier? If you had the choice, which one would you rather fight? And you guys, yeah, but people already fight bulls. They survive all the time. 
I, that's the thing. Yeah, people. Nobody do. fights mooses though, and lives to tell the tale. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, you saw that guy in the forest. He's staring at you. He fucking he, buddy. he gives you Fuck. that. That's a, dude. Half of of fighting is just getting crazy. You know how they tell you like when you want to fight somebody, just start punching yourself in the face, and they'll be like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" That's what mooses do. They hit you with that. The, cra- the, the crazy eye, eye. eye, and you're like, what the fuck is going on? And they're like, I don't want to fuck with this animal. M- bulls are dead in the eye. They have fish eyes. They like they don't do any of that trout shit. Trout eyes. Yeah, they have full trout eyes. But <laughs> So I went to our favorite AI, the racist uh, Gronk, Grok, Grog, whatever his name is, Grog, um, on Twitter, and I said, this is the question verbatim, I said, if a human had the choice to fight a moose or a bull of average size for each animal, which would the human have the best chance against? What are we thinking? I think we've all you've we've we made our, our stances pretty clear, right? We've made our stances pretty clear. I think that the I would rather fight a moose because I could take it out from the knees. I think Artie agrees. And uh Martin, you, you just outrun the bull, you just run around in circles. You can't outrun a bull, you retard. What about the 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 conquistadors or whatever? You mean the running of the yeah. bulls, the literal the, the, contest? The, yeah, the, 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 the con- yeah, the conquistadors. Yeah, the matadors. <laughs> matadors. What about those fucking yeah, uh, they're, they're, they're co- quarter, 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 quarter copias? Throwing a pretty little the, mo- the modellos, the modellos. It's fine. The modellos, the modellos. Uh, yeah. You just throw a pretty little crate and go. Whoop. Dude, Medellador is actually a way better thing. <laughs> if we just got a bunch of drunk Mexicans wasted and then sent them out there just with a with a bull, that's a way funnier thing. I would love that. That's like every Friday in my family, dude. <laughs> you Mexicans have yeah. weird traditions. Yeah, so it's like after after we decapitate our loved ones and celebrate our ch- children. Weirdest tradition? Yeah, we... Because we're pro-life. We fuck with bulls. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, so here's what it spit out. Here's what here's the answer. Uh here. If you were to choose between fighting the average sized moose and the average sized bull, your better odds are with the moose. Moose are less aggressive unless provoked, and they are easily easier to evade or distract. However, your primary strategy should be avoid combat altogether, is what it spit out. So I do that locked in a cage. Glad you said that. Oh, hell yeah. I'm glad you said that, because that's exactly what I did next. Great minds think alike. Given a cage match scenario where there is no escape. Your chances of surviving against either a bull or a moose are slim. But you still fare a marginally better chance against a moose. Mooses are gay. Mooses are bitches. Cage match scenario, you'll fuck up a moose. A moose might be less aggressive. It feels less threatened in a confined space where a bull will be likely more aggressive. Your strategy would involve outlasting the moose's energy. So exactly what you said to do to the bull, you do to the moose. You ride it. Like we saw that bear in the pre-show that Dave sent us. You put it in water and you ride it. (laughs) It was shirtless. You rip off your shirt and you ride it. And you say, fuck you, Trudeau. Highly illegal. No, you say, fuck you, Trudeau. I don't give a shit what you say. I'm going to fucking ride this moose until it dies of exhaustion. And we're going to eat it (laughs) with Joe Rogan on the Joe Rogan experience. Hell yeah. Can't fuck with us, dude. We're fucking. (laughs) I want to ride my moose. It's the thing I want to do. I want to ride it shirtless. I want to ride it shirtless. But the man says no. Say no. Saying it's against the law. I want to feel the wind against my chest as I ride my moose shirtless. What do you have against freedom? Just let me ride my moose. <laughs> the song is kind of beautiful. 
It's It's like it's like that song that that guy wrote about 9/11 after 9/11. It has the same thing for Canadians, right? I tell him to go do his blackface cosplay. They won't take away my moose. I'm gonna ride my moose shirtless. I wanna let loose ride my moose. Woo! Beautiful, beautiful can do that because they're gay little bitches that you can ride because they're fairy little boys that you can easily beat in a cage match. You have the opportunity to fight a moose or a bull. You always choose moose. Let's go. Big win. Big win for <laughs> big win for Team Bull today. That's I like it. how the saga keeps going. It's, a, it's an endless saga. It's never going to end. <laughs> it's never going to fucking end. The moose versus bull. It's like, it's like a, a what? loops or butt egg or whatever dude we got caught in that for a while we were stuck in a we were stuck in a butt egg loop forever we couldn't get out it was such a problem and it, it, it took, got out somehow dude it was like we had to do an intervention we had to go through rehab dude there was there were <laughs> points in the middle of the week that martin was texting me about butt eggs and i was like dude we gotta stop this it's like dude we were jones and it was like dude it's been like 48 hours since we talked about if we could put a hot dog in our ass and eat it and i was like dude i know Dude, we just gotta wait till Saturday. Just come Saturday, we'll do a whole thing on eggs in your butt. Like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't take the egg. That's disgusting. The egg <laughs> tastes. It tastes like a fart. It's crazy. We can't do this again. We can't do this. I don't have a. I don't have a stinger for Fruit Loop versus egg. All the Fruit Loops are gonna taste the same. It's gonna be fine. Like, it's just gonna taste like. It's gonna be a little murky of the milk. The milk is gonna be the issue, but. Fruit Loops are going to be delicious. I'm just not going to eat a shit egg. Somebody just can't <laughs> lay an egg into my mouth. Is That's crazy. I'd rather them squirt. If Just even if I just said that to you, it's like, would you rather have somebody squirt Fruit Loops into your mouth from their butthole, or would you rather them lay an egg in your mouth? I want the Fruit Loops to get fucked beforehand, though. No. Well, no, unless they're fucking the egg. They're scrambling your egg. That's crazy. That's crazy. If you're going to fucking throw scrambled butt egg where a man comes and fucking manually pounds your egg apart, that's crazy. And then she shits the egg in. Is it buttered? Because have you ever eaten scrambled eggs non-buttered? That's insane. Uh, uh, it's crazy. Put butter on your eggs. Scrambled? Are you kidding? Scram scrambled eggs are almost just a butter delivery mechanism. It's there's a lot of things. You know what else is? You know what I realized today? If I can just go on a little rant, if I could just go on a little bit of a rant quickly mm -hmm. about Always. English fucking muffins. English fucking muffins are specifically just a condiment delivery mechanism. Whatever you put on an English muffin, I don't care if it's honey or butter or fucking peanut butter, whatever you put on it, you better put a lot of it because an English muffin just on its own tastes like absolutely, it just tastes like flour. Like it's, it's the, yeah, it's, a dry, it's dry as fuck. It's the fucking most disgusting thing. I took a bite that just missed, I miss buttered. I missed it. I missed the edge of it. And I just took a, a straight bland toasted English muffin it's insane that's what eggs are to me that's what fucking scrambled eggs are you it needs so much butter like you don't even like eggs and you're gonna eat a butt egg <laughs> yep you are fucking retarded my friend better than fruit loops who hates fr i i don't even like cereal i don't even particularly like fruit loops well, I actually you also despise have a milk them. too i don't care i feel like dude wait you don't like a little chocolate milk no lower chamber milk <laughs> the lower you don't like second chamber milk <laughs> dude ladies already produce milk on their own you don't even know that she didn't make that milk herself you don't know where the milk yeah. came from they don't make chocolate milk naturally <laughs> black ladies do I think <laughs> <laughs> no, no they make chicken milk I as well <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just fucking drunk Mexicans <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, we all thought that as a kid. Come on, like that the brown the brown cows made the chocolate milk, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. I'm not crazy. This isn't like a squirrel fucking chipmunk thing again, right? Oh yeah, dude. That's it's real. No, I'm not. That's a reasonable thing. That the oh. evolution. I grew up on Pokemon, and a chipmunk <laughs> seems like the Squirtle version of the War Turtle that is a squirrel. 
Does that not make perfect sense? Two different colors, dude. Uh, <laughs> people fucking change. I don't know. Oh, dude, so my weird. fucking cat is like changing colors. Like they fucking the fucking everybody changes color. Poncho's like like Oh yeah, because they evolve too, right? Yes. Well they really change like eye yeah. color. Sure. Fucking do they start changing over time? I don't know. Yeah. Ladies Depends change on, like, their hair color all the time. You see, a squirrel can't change its hair color. That's crazy. So I, I just assumed that the little baby thing, like, have you ever seen, like, a fucking, like, a baby cow? They look nothing like a full-form cow. It's like a fucking tiny look, little weird thing. It tastes like more veal. of a cow than a freaking chicken fucking squirrel. No, it doesn't. It's pretty much the same fucking thing. You ever seen a baby mm. cat? Like a, like a fresh cat. It looks fucking insane. Yeah. It looks like a chipmunk. A little rat. Yeah, it looks like a little rat thing. It's disgusting. It looks like a, uh... Like a misformed jelly belly. It's disgusting. And you, you have one of jelly those. Jelly belly things. is properly formed? Or are they yeah. even jelly roll? Yeah. <laughs> jelly belly. The, the little jelly bean. But it's fucking. Yeah. They're horrifying. And if you if you could assume that that thing evolves into a cat. Same thing. You guys are just stupid. You guys just don't think creatively like I do. Because obviously a chipmunk is just a base level squirrel. And we don't know that that's not what true. What evolves after like, a squirrel? Uh, There's cat. always three. I would go cat. It's a, it's a sawed off <laughs> squirrel, dude. It would go cat or bunny. Depends. It's like Eevee. It depends on what stone you use, what acorn you give it. <laughs> acorn? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give it a high level acorn. You can get it into uh, uh, whatever. What you level want. do they evolve from chipmunks to squirrels? Yeah. Probably like a couple hibernations, I would assume. I assume <laughs> it's kind of like, but okay, like a butterfly. One time it hibernates and it turns into a metapod and then it turns into a butterfree. And it's the same thing as a squirrel. One day it goes to sleep as a chipmunk in the hole. It wakes up next spring. Boom, squirrel. And now it lives the rest of its life as a squirrel. And then it turns into one of those old gray squirrels when it's about to die. That's the end. That's the end life squirrel. This I'm happy makes, we brought this rant back. I feel like this actually makes <laughs> more sense than whatever reality is. So I would like to make that reality. So there you go. Whatever fucking actually happens, you're telling me that there's old chipmunks. That sounds retarded. That sounds so dumb to me that you're telling me that there's like a like a senior chipmunk. No, 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 no. The chipmunks follow the the Mexican philosophy of the quinceanera. They oh, we just kill chipmunks after <laughs> after yeah. a certain amount of time. But no, nah, I, yeah. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like you're te like in reality. Let's let's be serious for a second. There are old chipmunks. Whatever the lifespan of a chipmunk is, if it's fucking four years, there's four year old chipmunks. They're super old. Hold they're on. ninety years old in human years. That makes no sense. They're babies. They're little tiny baby things, and they grow up into gray squirrels and die. It's six to ten years. So yeah, you're telling me that there's a ten year old chipmunk. Hold on, squirrel. Hey, average life of a squirrel. Lifespan. It's probably fucking twenty. Because it uh, evolves. 15 to 18. See, it evolves after 10 into a squirrel, lives the next fucking 10. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You just guys got out-scienced, dude. Did you guys not yep. grow up on Bill Nye? Like, where the fuck were you? Where the fuck were you in science Bright class? guy, the science guy. Bry guy, the science guy. Bry guy, this dude. If they're in a... Artie, I'm going to need a lot of artwork. I'm going to need, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make an oh. intro. I'm going to need f every right. graphic that's involved in the Bill Nye the Science Guy all drawn yeah, in individual pieces. Animation. <laughs> right, spit fucking no, ass. I got the Random animation. Side. I just need <laughs> all of the assets. You have to draw every piece of utility from Bill Nye and I will, sp I'll have my head spinning around or whatever the fuck he does. It'll be perfect, right, dude. Right, Don't worry. Right, well, let's get that done right. for next week. Perfect. Have that on my desk by Monday. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, because so, I just died science here. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally the science guy now. Yeah. I yield to you. Thank you. So now you have just whatever science I believe has to just become law on the show, and we all just believe it. So. Oh, you need to get a lab coat. I will get a lab coat. Well, I have to for I the build. I have a, a lab coat when I worked at a... Of course you do, Artie. I'm assuming you have every costume that we're ever going to bring up. At any point when I go, like, do we have a fucking tutu and a, and a tiara? He's like, oh, yeah. Well, we just had a three quinceaneras last week. So, <laughs> so yeah, I got a couple. <laughs> yeah. uh, an argument yesterday over whose quinceanera picture is going to be up, posted up on the wall. Okay. Um, well, it was an argument. All right, choose your own adventure. Do you want to go see the midget wrestling, or do you want to play Blake's game? Floor Uh, uh Yeah, well, it, I don't think it matters. I think we're going to have to do it. So it's pretty simple. It's actually pretty simple. So um, the the uh, midget wrestling has a, a couple of characters in it. This one guy um, has his signature move. His name's Meatball. 
he's basically just like if we're being honest, he's basically just Dodds. He's not even like a midget. He's just like a short fat guy. Like he's just kind of just a short fat guy, but he just made it under the line, just under the line of being like a midget. He might be like that's kind of cheating. It's cheat, but he's meatball because he's big and fat and little. He is quite little. Like maybe not quite Dodds. I'm, I'm selling Dodds a little short. Ha. <laughs> But uh, so his finishing move is called stink face. And do you have any guesses on how that would be performed? If I was just like, hey, Martin, can you jump in the ring and perform a stink face? How do you, do you think you'd do it? Uh, he, climbs, he climbs up on the top rope and he lands on your face and farts. He does like a, a Batista bomb on the face, like yeah. fucking power bomb on there, and then just like lets out a ripper from the high rope. Oh, yep. from the top rope, and you probably won't even feel it because he's a little guy. He's a little midget. Yep. Yeah, it's it's like a cat <laughs> jumping on you. It's just kind of inconvenient. You're like, oh <laughs> fuck. Uh, already had. But do you then think? he lets rip. And oh yeah, and then you're just you're incapacitated. Then you have like a stun effect for the next three turns, and you're just in the yeah. middle of the ring doing this, like a fatality is about to happen. <laughs> uh, Artie, what do you think happens in the in the stink bomb? There's stink yeah, face, sorry. Thing. The first thing on the, on the turnbuckles, on the third one, on the bottom, is where this person's face is. And this person's going to fucking lean their ass and shake it a bunch and gross them out. Wow. I have to get, Artie, you get to pull a dollar out of my pocket because, God damn it, if that wasn't the perfect description about what's about to happen here. Uh, there's a way too attractive lady to be doing what she's about to do. Uh, that's laying down on the bottom rope of the turnbuckle and a, uh, uh, the tall midget that has, he definitely has midget ass is about to fucking. Yep. Oh, 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 no. oh, no. oh, is this her bachelor party? Oh no. Wait for it. What's he say? She says sweaty. Thank you, Artie. Yes, she did say it's sweaty and it smells. I listened to it about thirteen times to try and hear what she said. She said it's sweaty, it's sweaty and it smells. And that, that black, that, the literal floor coon is singing. I like big butts. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. There, there's a whole thing going on. I can't tell if this guy actually has legs. Or if he's <laughs> just a torso. The makes him a midget. Yeah, I know. He might just be like a regular. He's like five foot six, but he just lost his knees down. Yeah. And so now he's a midget. Like cotton. So I could. <laughs> Put my shins up. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, you respect this guy. He fought Nam. He got his he got his knees shot off in Korea. So... I stink face with him in. <laughs> Dude, yeah. He's at, how the fuck does he stink face? Somebody's got to lift him up. Somebody's got to give him uppies <laughs> to do his stink face. But, yeah, so, like, this chick has lost so many points in how attractive she was. Like, she's just, like, yeah. you're, like, God damn, you were telling me you went to the midget wrestling and got stink-faced? That's crazy. Yeah, she went. This guy, dude, this guy that back here looks like, fuck, the referee who's, like, Kevin Federline or that guy from Shameless. He's fucking <laughs> hanging out here going, like, what the fuck? I was thinking about bagging this chick. Like, yeah. I, was, I was totally going to pick this chick up. And I'm like, yeah, never mind. You can't get that stink off. It's, like, it's like a humiliation ritual. She cheated. Oh, Dude, man. And that, you know that nose. That nose made yeah. it pretty deep. It made yeah. it. And like, he yeah. nailed it, too. He fucking she, hopped up. brown nose him? Yeah, a little bit. And he smushed it. Can't get any lower than getting stinking faced by a floor coon. <laughs> How do you live with yourself? At, that deserved more. I, I, I'm going to defend you on that one. Can't get any lower than getting stink faced by a floor coon. It's a literal joke. <laughs> Come on. Come on, people. Sometimes you got to give Artie his fucking... I don't even know if he accidentally did that or did that on purpose. <laughs> either, don't even tell us. It's a mystery. It was beautiful. I loved it. Artie's weird mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> Artie's retarded Dang. mysteries, but Dang. yeah. So it turns out that uh, he uh, uh, it, this is a ongoing affair. This has been going on for the better part of fifteen years. That stink face has been the thing. So I guess she's been a fan years. for a while. Did yeah, yeah, long? yeah. You should check this one out. That was from. <laughs> Damn it. I thought they evolve. The squirrel life. <laughs> <laughs> they evolve into a real boy. This is the chipmunk of humans. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I, I actually hate how much I like that. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, give it like 10, 15 years. They'll, they'll become a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's so funny. But yeah, so check this one out. That's from like 2000, uh, 2000 before they had widescreen. All right. Was he taller? I feel like he shrunk, right? Or the ring got smaller? Uh, is every something's that's confusing. Probably killer. <laughs> like just... You know what, dude? Dude, she's looking. She's ready for it. She's got a fedora on. This guy's over here. Dude, if he does it, I'm telling you, if he does it back to back, like, you know, where you go off the rope, go off the turnbuckle, no. and then and then slam into the other one. Oh! Oh, no, he didn't do it. I pulled the shirt up. Are we sure that this midget knows how to wipe properly? No. You can't reach that. Far. That's not how you wipe properly. He definitely doesn't. <laughs> Probably. Artie, is that how you wipe? I feel like that's how you wipe. Oh. I mean, dude, oh. If you're gonna do that, you gotta at least do back to front. Like, you gotta do, like, you gotta under the ball. It. Yeah, you gotta floss it. Yeah. He's doing reverse flossing. Yeah, that's crazy. That is a crazy. Horizontal floss. That didn't do anything. That didn't wipe it off. It wiped the sweat off. It didn't wipe off the inner saliva of the last guy nope. that's on his fucking cornhole. She's being held down, too. Oh, she motorboated it. Oh, that's somebody's mom now. What if that's the same chick? <laughs> no, dude, this is like 15 uh, years that's later. That's chick's mom. Yeah, this is... <laughs> it's a generational thing. We've passed it. <laughs> we all got stink-faced, honey. You gotta say, your grandma was getting stink-faced in 1995. You have to understand, we've been stink-facing for generations. You'll be the first one of the Lebowski sisters that don't get fucking stink faced at a midget wrestling match <laughs> I'm, a fan, I'm a fan of stink faces because I uh, if you guys are at all interested I can um, send you the link uh, this is the playlist of all of the stink faces that have happened throughout the years so you can you can just go and you can just there's a they've cut off all the stink faces you can check them out there's uh, some people at home videos there's a live production ones but micro wrestling they really stink face it. <laughs> yeah, that guy did not want to be there. there. That guy did not want to be there. So, yeah, you see, so you can just put it on and let it play. And you'll just get stink faces for days. But, yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the midget wrestling stink faces. I was like, how much to do that? How much does, like, how much does it cost or how much to get wow. me to do it? How much for you? I was, because genuinely when you asked that, I thought you were like, dude, get, sign me up. Like, I thought you were like, how much? Like, take my credit card. You're like, Let's go. Like, come on, how much? Is it less than the night fighting? Because if it's less than fucking getting a suit of armor, if we can rent the midget for less than three grand, then we fucking bring him down, we get him to stink face all our friends, it will be great. Oh, oh. Yeah, dude. Loser we, gets stink faced. We do backyard stink facing? Oh, dude, if we do backyard stink facing, that's a whole different level. Artie, would you come to a backyard stink face? I mean, I'll go. <laughs> Dude, but we, but you're ha but you're in a in a random lottery to get stink faced in the crowd, dude. The one lucky fan gets pulled up and stink faced. <laughs> like it's when, like five people. Yeah, it's like when Odds Shakira dance better. dances on you on stage, and, and it's pretty much just gonna be us there. <laughs> no one's gonna come to this. Actually, there's gonna be a weird amount of hot chicks that show up. Be like, why are you guys here? They're like, oh, I love getting stink faced. I've actually I've been stink faced. I've been, I, every generation's been stink faced in my family. <laughs> <laughs> There's an old lady in a wheelchair there. Just got. I remember getting stink faced in the eighties. Oh. <laughs> yes, to use that like staircase thing, lift to go up to the ring. Oh, dude, an acorn stink stink facing is crazy. He's just at the top of the stairs, spreading his butthole apart. He's just fucking doing that, and then she's going up the stairs like. <laughs> and he's just gonna get. She just eventually just bump into his butt at the top. That's. Horrifying. Then she falls down the stairs. She's got to press her life alert. It's the whole thing. All right. Um, all right. It's time. I've fallen. I can't get up. <laughs> I've, I've been stunk faced. I can't get up. <laughs> Off the cushion or fall just in time, but she gets stink faced a second time now. All right. 
Are you ready for the second edition of What the Fuck Do the People on the Clever Name Podcast Know? I asked Blake 10 questions ranging from actual questions to just opinions about what he likes. And we're going to see which one of you knows Blake better. I believe Martin was pretty good at this when we did the Artie one. I feel like... I don't remember. Yeah, well, you don't remember much, so I can just say anything. Martin got a perfect score on the Artie one. He, he knows Artie so well, he got 100% on the last one. <laughs> and he can't deny it because he doesn't remember. He actually got extra credit. He wrote in his own question and answered that one as well. It was impressive. <laughs> it was impressive. He scored 110. Um, but I've asked Blake some of the hardest questions known to man. And we're going to see which one of you knows Blake better. The winner gets Blake's bussy. Gets Blake's bussy. You win Blake's bussy. So you get to do whatever you want with that bussy. It's yours for a weekend. It's under uh, whatever. It's uh, uh, maritime law. Take it out to international waters. Do whatever you want with that bussy. You can marry that bussy. All right. First question. I asked Blake. How many planets are there? <laughs> Is this the old answer or the new answer? It's a brand new answer. Uh, we've asked him this. Th- well, actually, we didn't even ask him. Martin sort of did ask him. But uh, if you remember on a previous episode of Clever Name Podcast, uh, we had a quiz show. And Blake was very excited for the uh, space quest category. And he was like, ooh, I'm going to crush it. I took academic space stuff in high school. It made no sense. And Martin went, how many planets are there? He responded, I don't know, 11, 12? No, he said 12, 13, I believe. He said, I don't know, 12, 13? So he gave a rough answer, both of which that were wrong. <laughs> now, before you guess what Blake answered, how many planets are there, Artie? Eight. Martin? Not including Pluto. I, f- I feel like, yeah, no, Martin's right. Nine is the correct answer right now because Pluto's back in. Just so you know, if you is haven't it? been getting, yeah, Pluto's oh, back in. Fuck. Somehow Pluto is black in. I, I, fucking planet. Yeah, dude, we got nine. So, yeah, it's very confusing. But how many did Blake say? I want to say he learned his lesson and said nine. You think he got it? He looked it up after the last time. We literally, we told him yeah. the answer. And then, but he has to know now. He didn't get any time to prepare. I did just go, yo, how many planets are there? And then he was like, uh, so here we go. Artie, what did he say? I'm going to say you also learned his lesson and went with eight because it's not including Pluto. <laughs> okay. All right. That's a fair answer. No wrong answers here. It's just what Blake would say. So whatever Blake says is the correct answer. I asked Blake. How many planets are there? And he said... I don't know. Ten. (laughs) Neither. Neither. He went lower. He He, went lower. He's getting closer to the answer. If we keep... Government official. (laughs) Yes, he works for the government. He might know something that we don't. That's the thing. There might be a tenth one dropping in the next update, and he's actually a patch ahead. He beta tests the planets before they come out. But, uh... Yeah, I think if we keep asking him this question enough, eventually he will get the right answers, and we just gotta keep practicing, Wait, keep doing. Did he count quiz. the planet that has the moon cricket in it? No, that's the that's that extra moon we had for a while. Um, all right, <laughs> the, ex- the extra moon in our system. <laughs> so neither of you got a point. Nobody's on the board because Blake is an enigma that no one will ever understand. But how do you mispronounce that word? Uh. I asked him this question, more of an opinion-based question, but I asked him. Does it bother you that our gay fans want to buttfuck you? Nah, he loves it. (laughs) He likes the attention. He likes the attention. Like, come on. Like, I didn't think I would like the attention, but then when everybody starts fawning over Blake, I was like, wait, what is my, I, I got old bussy now? 
Nobody cares about roll Ryan Bussy. Oh, I see. This is what it must be like to be like a MILF in porn now. I've aged out of it. And then, oh, you, oh, you want those young, but I'm I'm 27 in porn. And you're like, oh, yeah, you want those 18-year-olds. I'm fucking ancient. So, all right. Yeah, I, I, I do get it. So, does does Blake, is it, does it bother Blake that our gay fans want to butt fuck him? Artie? Nah. I think after like a tenth DM, it just starts to get flattering. Yeah, I completely like, oh, agree. Thank you. That's exactly what it turned into. At first, I was like, "This is weird that Gay Martin <laughs> wants to fuck me so hard." And then I was like, by the tenth one, I was like, "Oh!" And then when it dried up, I was like, "Hey!" So like, it, I get it. Like, I get it. I was like, "Oh, no, now I'm old news." But, <clears throat> all right, I asked Blake, "Does it bother you that our gay fans want to butt fuck you?" And he said, "It weirds me out a little bit." But I mean, oh. it is what it is, I guess. That's pretty yeah, close. Kind of still, I know he's fucking. He's also like mid shit while he's recording this or something. Like I don't know. Like he's in. He's like, oh, I had to record or, this. Or mid getting person. shit thrown on him. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, all right, no points again. No points again for that. None of you seem to know Blake. Do you guys not want Blake? That's even an answer though. Do you not want Blake's pussy? All of our fans want it. Think about that. That's such a they, nobody wants our fucking AirPods, but everybody wants a fucking everybody wants a fucking Blake's pussy. We could give that away on the show. Think about that. I'm trying, dude. Dude, let's give away fucking Blake's pussy. So, all right. Next one. Question three. I asked Blake, "What's Artie's real name?" <laughs> I said, "Blake, what's Artie's real name?" What do you think he said, Artie? There's no way he got my last name right. No, I didn't ask for full name. I, just, I, I was just, I, he, just so you know, he gave one name. He's probably not going to get it because I said it very seldomly and he hasn't been around too often. A lot of people know it. A lot of people know it. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually been a term coined for when you lose it that is just your real name. <laughs> but, uh,. Does Blake know it? Is the question. Who goes first? I think I already said uh, no, so I guess Martin. Right. Oh, yeah, he knows it. He knows it. All right, we're locking that in. You're good with that, Artie. You think no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. All right. Do you, uh, uh, Artie? Do you want to like double down and guess what he says? <laughs> oh, shit. Does that mean he's right? So like, uh, I'm gonna say he'll probably say something like uh, Eduardo. Uh, Ar Arturo. Are you ready? I ready. asked Blake, "What's Artie's real name?" And he said, "Pedro." <laughs> <laughs> oh no way! Yes, with that fucking raccoon. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Where's the sound playing it? He is somehow Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. the most racist out of all of us. It's so he crazy. Was. I know, but like he pretends that he's not. He literally goes, I don't know, fucking Julio, fucking whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Honestly, you're, he's not far off. <laughs> he's not. You have like 10 Mexican starter names. I know. Family. Literally <laughs> like one of the fucking first generation Mexican names. Uh, he's, you know what? He, that was a fair guess. If he didn't yeah, know. Pedro. That was that was a fair guess. Next question. question Artie gets a point. Artie is on the board. One point, Artie. I asked Blake, "Is it gay to get a finger in your ass?" Oh yeah. I'm not asking for your opinion. I'm asking. I'm asking Both. Uh, for Blake's opinion. Both. Yeah. Artie. Wait, 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 wait. Who does it? I didn't clarify. Obviously, if a dude is fisting you, it's a little gay. No, you said finger, not fist. Yeah, but whatever. If you're putting any amount of digits, if a dude is putting any amount of digits in your butt, you go, <laughs> hey, fucking Tony, you mind fucking fishing this turd out of my ass? I can't fucking get it out. That's it. Then all of a sudden, yeah, okay, it's not gay. If you're on a construction site, you're having trouble getting the turd out your ass, and you get one of your buddies to fucking fish hook it out of your butthole, maybe that's not gay. <laughs> That's the one time you're like, hey, we got to finish putting up this Reebok. Fish this dirt out my ass. And, that, and you're like, all right. 
gay. And then if, also, if you're staring directly into Artie's eyes, it's nothing's gay. I've learned that over the years. <laughs> if you just look Artie directly into his soul, it like counteracts. It's like two negatives becoming a positive. <laughs> so if you ever want to jerk off to gay porn, you just just stare at Artie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Theme gay porn together. Artie, I need your final answer. Um, I'm gonna say he's gonna uh, say it is gay. He's gonna say it is gay. You're both locking it in. Is gay. Oh yeah. I feel like personally attacked, but that's okay. That's okay. Blake, is it gay to get a finger in your poop shoot? Yes, it is gay. <laughs> Easy points. Easy points. Both people. Points. Already still up by one. Question number five. I did it. Blake, what race are you? I asked Blake, what race are you? What do you think no, he did said? Did he answer seriously or sarcastically? That's the question. That's the name of the game here. Ambiguous. Gordon locking in ambiguous. I like it. Artie? I just have to say moon cricket. It just makes sense, at least for the show. You think no, he's, he's going to say moon cricket? Honestly, if he said moon cricket, I'd give you all the points. I'd end the game here and I'd fucking go. No I think way. he'd probably say Indian. No way. Just for the laughs. I asked Blake, what race are you? He said, whatever fits the joke that we're telling. Martin points. That's huge. You said, hey, you said ambiguous. Think... There's nothing more ambiguous than whatever fits the joke. All right. But Moon Cricket's <laughs> also a joke. No. That's, yeah, that's one of them. That's the point. He literally yeah, said whatever. A any of them. Ambiguous <laughs> is all hell. Any of the whatever fits. He's Asian sometimes. He's Indian. He's black. He's all of them. He's rarely white. Yeah. But we, sometimes. Sometimes. Only winter. To, to us, he's white. Early to us, like, in our in our hearts, he's, sometimes. he's white. But, uh, all right. That's it. I think I'll that evens up. up the game. Question number six. What is your favorite moment from the Clever Name podcast? Oh, so Tough many. One. There's so many good moments. So many moments that we've shared together. But what would be Blake's favorite moment? Power Hour. Power Hour is a classic episode. We drank. I was high for three days. <coughs> Blake threw up on his dick. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty... Funny. <laughs> Artie, what do you think Blake's favorite moment? There is an episode actually entitled the Blake's favorite episode. I, I, I'm good, but I'm gonna highly doubt it wasn't that one. The watermelon song. <laughs> yeah. No. no I, I like I wasn't there for the Clever Name Podcast Old Testament, but Testament. we want to say like. Our newer stuff. I want to say it was the moment that we played race charades and I did the black voice. I have not heard Blake laugh that much ever. <laughs> that is a classic, classic Blake moment. Um, all right, Blake, what's your favorite moment from the Clever Name podcast? Either the Power Hour, because throwing up was funny. Or when Ryan shit his pants, because <laughs> it was also one. funny. <laughs> I would have gave you points for either one, but that's points for Martin. That's huge. Fucking power. I can't believe you drew out the power hour, but dude, when I do think of the funny moments, I you can sometimes think of Blake eating the fucking hot gummy too. Where he like puked for nah, like an, he hated that. He one. hated that though. It was one I of the funniest ones. I was like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. not gonna like it. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna like that one. Um, all right. I tried a tricky one on him here. Tried a tricky one. Uh, next question. What's Hitler's last name? It's a tough question. I know, I know. It gets you thinking. Your noodle scratching. You're like, what is Hitler's last name? Oh, 
Martin, what's Taylor's <laughs> last name? Oh, you were really thinking about it there for a while. It just hit you. <laughs> yep. So Blake you know my had, answer. Blake had to answer immediately. That was the name of the game. I said, Blake, what, what's what's Hitler's last oh, he's name? Oh, you just something stupid. So what you is say he Mussolini. Say? <laughs> Hitler Mussolini. We all remember him. <laughs> Hitler Mussolini. Um, Artie, what do you think he's gonna say? He's got to say Auschwitz. <laughs> Hitler von Auschwitz. <laughs> no, it's Kielbasa von Auschwitz. All right. Um, Blake, what is Hitler's last name? Hitler. No. He nailed it. He knew it. I thought he was going to stupid. You think he would forget? Hitler. Come on. No way. Like he whispered <laughs> it to It's like his fucking roommates are there and he's like, Hitler. Hitler. Um, all right, this is a fun one. I actually added this one in here just for Dodds because I felt like he would get a kick out of this, but he's not even here. So fuck What's him. Pocket? Next question. Is an orca a dolphin or a whale? It's a fun question. You guys know? There's no technically like a shark. Uh, those are the th those are like the three. Ca well, I think there's uh, there's like a couple of categories, but I think that's like the main three: is shark, whale, and dolphin. Is I'm going with whale. But I think like the four food styles. It's not a dolphin. Yeah, it's too big for a dolphin. Yeah, well, that that is funny. Uh, Artie, what do you think it is? Yes, no, it's a whale. <laughs> well, I will tell you, it's a dolphin. Just found that out. Just found that out the other day. Orc is a dolphin. Looks like a dolphin, shaped like a dolphin, got a, do a dorsal fin and a fucking. But it's fucking huge. Yeah, it's but got. It's a... twenty feet longer, which yeah, it doesn't. It different... doesn't matter. It's I don't know. There's some like uh, disqualifying features of it being a whale. Where yeah, like... no, that's bullshit. Oh, Are you telling me that fucking dolphin's a Pluto now? Yes. Yeah, I man, what the fuck? Dolphin's the fifth planet or something. No, I don't no, know. No, no. But uh, it is. But is Blake gonna know that? That's the question. No. Yeah. Well, uh, of course, he knows everything about these. But, Artie, what do you think? He's gonna say it's a whale. I think he's gonna say it's a whale. All right, Blake. Has to. Is a dolphin a whale or an orca? A whale. Yeah, he did. That's, that's wrong. It's a dolphin. Haha. -ha. So when Dodds always yells at us when I keep saying that his thing's a dolphin, it's actually a fucking dolphin. Get fucked. Uh, anyway, next question. Classic one. Fuck Mary Kill Artie Martin Ryan. Hmm. Hmm. Artie, I feel like you got a feeling about this. I feel like you're, you're looking about it. You're like, I think it's the same it? answer. Time no. What was the uh, answer last time? I don't remember the answer last time. Oh no, because Blake was in it. Yeah, no, it switched up because yeah, it was Artie doing yeah, it, yeah. and I think Artie went. I think he killed me, and then he fucked. Uh, Blake and married you. I think that was how it worked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it, it's mm. it's different. But, uh, so what do you guys think, Artie? What are you feeling? I can feel it. You got some cooking. Uh, <laughs> we'll probably marry me, fuck Martin, and kill you. I don't like that. <laughs> I always get killed. I like it. I think the opposite. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say, Martin? He's gonna marry you, kill Artie, and fuck me. He's gonna fuck you, marry me, and kill Artie. There is a bit named after that. That is true. Um, it I, is a logical economic strategy. Uh, all right. Well, I think he's gonna marry you because you're a weed smoker. I think that's the determining factor on on whether he wants yeah. to marry. He's like, damn, we could still get high and jerk each other off Good all day. It's sick. Or fuck her, yeah. We already <laughs> share a brain cell. Now let's just fucking kiss, exactly. kiss holes and smoke weed. Hell yeah. All right. Well, I asked Blake, fuck, Mary, kill, Artie, Martin, Ryan. And he said, fuck, Ryan, Mary, Martin, kill, Artie. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> None of you got it right. <laughs> fuck Thank you. That's a segue, segue to my stand-up. Kill, Artie. Dude. Well, I got the kill, Artie part. You got the kill, Artie, but he obviously wants my bussy. Come on, dude. You, you, don't, you don't even have a bus. Martin, you're such marriage material. You have to understand that. Uh, Blake, well, even I Blake sees married. it. I know. Blake sees it. You're just like you're not, you're like the fucking housewife for him. He's just like, dude, you're my you're my go-to girl. 
but I'm just like some side slut. It's just <laughs> I do filthy things that you won't do. Like the finger? Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> he he knows it's gay, and that's why he said that. He knows it's gay, <laughs> and he loves it. Um. All right. Mm. Final question. Awesome. Worth all the points. <laughs> ah, didn't see it coming, but it's worth all the points. All the points that you accumulated are on the line right now. I asked Blake, have you gotten prisoner shit on you yet? Nah, he would have told us. Would he? Yeah. Maybe this is how. For the laugh. For the laughs. Maybe he's going to tell us right now. Artie? I'll say no, unless this is why he's in the tundra now. Yeah, <laughs> he got he, banished. To yeah, he's luck. banished to Siberia because he killed a guy that shit on him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I asked Blake, "Have you gotten prisoner shit on you yet?" He said, "Not yet, but I'm sure it's coming one day, and that day will be the day I get arrested." Play that back. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, yeah please play it back. Yeah, okay, yeah. Not crap, yet, but I'm sure it's coming one day. And that day will be the day I get arrested. Again, again, again. He said uh, it hasn't happened, but the day that it does, it'll be the day that I get arrested. So, he, so is that why he's in Siberia? It might be. He hasn't. He didn't fully admit it, but that's exactly what's happened. Uh, yeah, no, he didn't get any shit on him yet. So that's the guess who the Blake said thing game. Who when? But yeah, dude, I gotta, I gotta do another edition. One day I'm gonna pop quiz Martin. This is what I think is gonna be fun. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop quiz Martin in like the middle of the week one time. And then, like three weeks later, give him the quiz on himself and see oh, if no. he can remember the answer. <laughs> see if Artie can beat Martin on his own answers, <laughs> which I think is a high probability of happening. I, oh, ge I genuinely think Martin will not remember what he says to his answers. Yeah, you gotta do it when I'm at work. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna call you one day and just pop quiz you when you're on your lunch break. And yeah, yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm genuinely gonna love that. <laughs> Martin's gonna be like, I have Fuck. no idea what I said to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's fun. I'm fucking offloading a truck, and you're fucking talking to me. Yeah, do you do? Blake is is uh is heavily missed. I'm glad that he uh, sends stuff in for us. He's one of the men that uh keeping the show afloat. You know, he's the one that gets the views. That's what everybody says. But speaking of views, just stay in that group. Wants to fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Blake. If you're watching this, same. But uh, speaking of views, ever since I've been mentioning, I have to mention it every single week, Rumble popping off, can't stop it, unstoppable force that is the Clover Name Podcast Rumble channel. Start a Rumble channel. Play it on a TV that you don't have. I don't care, dude, because we're making bank sitting at a whopping... 52 cents 52 Ooh. fucking cents dude we broke in the 50 cents mark that's, that's those, a milestone dude that's we have a, a full other like coin now think about that there's two quarters two pennies that's crazy that's crazy we, that is crazy we have uh we don't even have pennies here we don't even have pennies so we'll have to send that to Artie. that'll be Artie, and then canadian <laughs> pennies you take off like 30 percent off the top so he's getting like a penny and a seventh and like we're fucking <laughs> it's confusing and but we're gonna have to do it i'm gonna send you like uh 70 percent of a penny already get ready it's coming your way and that's from all the hard work that you've put in I just know that but yeah so if you guys want that dude shirts flying off the shelf off the shelf dude everybody's buying them little guy shirts being bought you know who knows some guy said that it's like the watermelon man or something bought some stuff from the store this morning. Pretty epic. Uh, go, <laughs> I don't know. You go check out uh, the Clever Day Podcast merch store. It's unbelievable. We got already working on more stuff. We'll have stuff changing out. I just want to have like exclusive T-shirts, just one-offs. That's what I want. I, want, I just got to get already with like a slave driver just oh, working. We need a new Christmas one. Yeah, we might need. I mean, need a new Christmas design. I'm gonna fucking. 
whip Artie into fucking shape after Jardy, after he has like a three day bender, fucking gets liver failure, and then uh, has like one of those puke hangover Kidney days. Failure. No, that's duds. Artie's liver <laughs> failure. I'm lung failure. We're all failing. <laughs> we just know that we're all failures here. Our dude, brain failure. Dude, leave, leave what failure you are in the chat. <laughs> dude, you know, just drop it down in the comments. Whoever you're watching this, leave what kind of failure do you have? Do you have diabetes? Are you black? What kind, of, what kind of hardships do you have? Are you getting constantly attacked by the sharks in the street? But, uh, yeah, go check out the website, podcastergay.com. It's being approved every single day. It's got so much stuff. Adding more Martin songs every time I find them. I stumble across new ones. We, found, we stumbled across another one today. I'm going to add it later. It's going to be up there. So go check out the, another one. See, you cooked up. Are you saying you cooked up another one? Yeah, but I can't tell what, what person is the best. Well, it's you, a real song. You have to pick. What do you mean? Like it's like, you mean like it's like real? Like it's like emotional? Are you? Is well, it gonna? Me. I think it is. I think you're gonna be. It's like uh, you your high school sweetheart. Me. Oh no, not nah, my high school sweetheart. <laughs> Please don't tell me it's about my high school. Oh fuck! If it's about my high school sweetheart, she was dumb. French one. <laughs> She's she she just, she <laughs> shit and she clogged the toilet and then she screamed for me while her turd floated down the hall. It's kind of crazy. We were hot tub sweethearts. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, yeah, check out podcastergay.com. It's got all of it. It's got uh, Artie's show, Jardy, up there. Huge success. Epic. Episode tomorrow. Yeah, new episode every single week. And uh, uh, yeah, it's got all the exclusives, all the backlogs of this show that you can't get anywhere else. All of the uh, pre shows and post shows of this stuff, the stuff that you're missing if you're watching this on YouTube. Go check it out there. And uh, yeah, come call us a faggot. Win some AirPods. You, if you just want to support us, come do some PTS. Or you go get some AirPods. Uh, we're giving them away before we all kill ourselves at the end of the year. So it's it. We're, all, we're almost done with this. And almost rest easy. Never having to say slurs on the internet. You beat us. You beat us. YouTubes and the internets and iTunes. Humble. Everybody hates us. It's, it's one of the two. Either that they were shadow banned or were horribly unfunny. And it can't be a shadow ban. So, <laughs> so yeah. That's where, that's, where, that's where we're at. So you can check out all the stuff. We've worked hard on it. So go, you know, give it a like. Give it a comment. Say a slur. Uh, thanks, everybody. Go check out Rumble if you don't got any of that and buy a hat or something. Go check out Jardy. Jardy, you have anything? You got anything prepared for tomorrow? Uh, a couple things for sure. Like the outdoor adventure for sure. Yeah, he's he's like... going to get drunk and throw up again, probably. So. Oh, no. I hope I can get drunk. I need some booze. <laughs> The shakes are kicking in. Ooh, yeah. my liver's hurting. <laughs> yes. Thank you, everybody. Everybody that supports the nine people that listen are the only thing that are keeping us breathing. So just know that. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. I have another game. I don't know if we want to play it or if we want to just get to some nonsense. It's up to you guys. I have another game. It can wait. Nonsense. Uh, I got to take a piss. Okay. Well, Artie, you're, it's up to you. Where you, do you do you recall? Because I believe the last time I played the question game, I asked you what the sandwich game was, and the last time we tried to play the sandwich game, you went full sandwich on us, <laughs> and you actually named it the sandwich game, and it's actually not. It was supposed to be a simple game, it was supposed to be a simple game. But do you know how it's played yet? Because you didn't. No. <laughs> okay. Well, let me explain it. It's super simple. You're gonna try and read my lips. I'm going to say a thing, and you're going to be mute. I'm going to mute so you can't hear me, and I'm going to try to say a thing, and you're going to try to read my lips through the magic of the internet and say what I'm saying. I'm just, everyone else will be able to hear me. All the audio listeners will be able to hear both of us, but you won't be able to hear me, and I'm going to be saying, like, Artie is dumb, and you're going to have to try to say that back to me, and, be, and then you win. Then you win a point. If you don't, if you can't get it, and you're just saying nonsense, and then we both look like idiots. So that's what, it's just going to be simple. I'm going to mute, and that's it. I don't know what you thought the sandwich game was, because you called it the sandwich game, and you yelled at me last time we tried to play this game, so I am a little shaky. Last time, you came at me, and you got really aggressive with me, and you got, you, you hated me. But it's a simple game, and I think it's fun. But it might not be. I think you guys might hate me. <laughs> you understand the rules already. Yes. Are you sure? 
Yeah. Are you? Are I just you... hope the internet doesn't cut out when you're when you're freaking. And so you saying. can't. So I'm just like fucking freezing all over the place, and you can't see see me. But dude, okay, well, let's try it again. What was called the the whisper game is now changed to the sandwich game. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> let's play. Super easy. Understandable game. There's no way we could fuck this up. All right. Artie, I'm going to mute now. Oh, hey, Dodds. Hey, welcome, Dodds. Is your kidney Yo. failure failed yet? Dude, Martin's passing through the void again. Yeah, Martin fell into the <laughs> void. Artie, uh, Artie, my God. Yeah, dude, he's fully into the void. You just see, like, lights <laughs> flickering, and he's just uh, died. Did his power glow? No, he just went into the void. He just got sucked in like a demigorgon oh, took him or something. Like, I don't know what the Fire fuck happened. Fire alarm neighbors, dude. Yeah. That's, yeah, I don't know. But uh, it's, I feel, it's, it's like, I don't know why. It's like this game doesn't work. I, I hate it now. I don't want to play it. Dodds, do you want to play a game? No. Yeah, okay, good. Boom. Never playing this game again. It's over. Martin, you got What's the game? Uh, I'm, it's basically just fucking reading my lips. It's all it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be fun. You said the what said who? Yeah, basically, I was just gonna say a bunch of things muted, and you guys are gonna try to read my lips. And say hey, the sandwich, yeah. game. The sandwich game. But it's fucking oh, everybody yeah. hates the fucking sandwich game. Artie's gonna fucking slam four modellas now, and then he's gonna get mad at me and scream at me and do stand up aggressively <laughs> at me. That's what happened last time. Last time he just stopped the game and aggressively did stand up at me. He has stand up raped me. Let me see the fucking mouthing, bud. Let's do it. Hell yeah. All right. Here we go. Okay. I am going to mute now, and then the next thing that comes out of my mouth will be semen. Come. Nice. Okay. Here we go. First round. Your shit's lagging. Good. It is. Perfect timing. Here we go. First round. Help me. I'm retarded. It is. <laughs> Help me. I can't play the game on his computer either. Uh, <laughs> I can't do the goddamn thing. He's cursed. He's probably safe right, for right, next right, week right, when there's no right, snowstorm. Right, <laughs> is it snowing where you are Everything right now? Everything is fine. Oh, yeah. Great. Help. Okay, repeat okay, it, Ryan. This game's Help fucked. That's me. what Ryan said. This game's I'm Help retarded. Me. He's a bussy luck. We were high school sweethearts. Help me. Help me, I'm retarded. Help me, I'm okay. retarded. Yes! Oh, you got it. Yes! Dude, oh, Don's on yeah. fire. He's on fire. I used to play sports, bud. Come on, easy. Yes. Reading lips for the win. Okay. All right. Next round. Dude, we're going to get through this. Don't worry. We're going to get through this. I, as much as I hate this game now, this fucking sandwich game, it gives me flashbacks. I'm like a fucking abused dog. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Round two. My fridge, lol. My fridge, lol. It's dark. L lol. Is on. No, lol. lol. My fridge, lol. <laughs> Damn. Lol. That's not a word. We're it on fire. It is. Song. It's actually a whole song. It's actually the title of a Fat Ojo Martin song. So yeah, my fridge, lol. Dude, one point Martin, one point Dodds. This is huge. Round number three. Let's go. Hot tub with teacher. Hot tub we were, with teacher. We were high school sweethearts. <laughs> Hot autism? Well, well, close. My autism cage. Hot tub with Hot teacher. Tub with we teacher. Yeah! Hot tub with a teacher. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yes! Dude! Fucking mind melding here. We're on fire. Let's go. Dude, last time we tried to do this, it was so hard. Okay, hey, song. Uh, okay hold on. Hot tub teacher. Hot tub teacher. Um, okay, round number four. Pepsi is stored in the balls. Pe Pepsi. Pepsi in the balls. Oh! Pepsi is stored in the balls. Yes! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I feel like I have to give Dodds a half a point there because he really fucking like put your. You gotta mute the yourself there, idiot. Yeah, yeah. Come on, brother. Sorry, sorry. You have to, you have to really have to give Dodds a half point there because fucking uh, he really guided yeah. you close to the hole there where it was mm -hmm. fucking. I was already thinking Pepsi, but I was like, he said it. Pe Pepsi is stored in the balls, but dude, on fire. Let's go. Already. You get there, buddy. Yeah. 
<laughs> he's not good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> he's having flashbacks. Flash. I have like Vietnam helicopters in my fucking thousand yard set right now. <laughs> oh, that's great. Just fucking the, the music video for Metallica's one is just playing in Artie's head right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave, Artie, you're going to get this one. I believe in you. Let's go. You got this one. This is, this is me and you. I'm going to stare you right in the eyes and you're going to get it. Here we go. You're lagging though, you're lagging. No, I'm not. I'm good. It's gonna be fine. Dude, just ignore it and power through already. Hornykinkyboy.com. Hornykinkyboy.com. Finally bussin'? Hornykinkyboy.com. Who's the mother? No. Something jerk off. Horny, horny, kinky, boy. Dot com. Hornykinkyboy.com. Who's in the something? Horny. 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 It's fucking horny. Horny <laughs> kinky boy dot com. Horny. Can you trade the first word? Yeah. How many words? Uh, How many words? Uh, uh, Jerk off. Uh, oh, I'm so... <laughs> Drinking piss out of a pussy. Worcestershire sauce. Hard on. Horny. Pussy. Horny. No. Horny. Horny. Hornykinkyboy.com. Yes! <laughs> oh, <laughs> <liar>. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. There's no show references. This is bullshit. <laughs> yes, they did. You gotta watch the show, dog. Watch the show, man. You gotta keep up, dude. Um. All right, this is going to be a tough one. I feel like I'm going to hate this. That was a tough one. That was, was a tough, tough one. one. I know. This is also going to be a tough one. But just know, I went show references, so you have a very... Uh, you should, if you, well, Artie, you're here every week. you got to know these. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, Artie, if you don't know these. She goes wah, 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 because she got depression. Wah, wah? Oh! <laughs> she goes wah, wah, wah. Cause she got depression. She can't go? No! No. Lady she... want a watermelon? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Dodge gets it. <laughs> it's not. It's not that. It's so. No, it's uh, not. It's just. That's so, definitely what it is. Dude. No, but it's so funny that it's so close. <laughs> it's so. Okay, hold on. She goes. Give Dodge the points. Wah wah wah. Moon cricket. Moon cricket. Cause she got moon, depression. Cricket, moon, cricket. She goes wah wah wah, wah, wah cuz she needed. got depression. Wah wah. Fuck. She goes wah 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 cuz she got depression. She is getting high with Trump. It's, it's I fucking hate this one. I don't want to do it anymore. It says Keep going. I you guys are never going to get it. If I Mart was wah, wah. Guys. She goes Wah, 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 cause she got depression. I don't know, wah, wah. She, That's wah, part of the wah, 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 wah cause wah, she wah. got depression. So I bought her favorite Slurpee from seven. What the fuck? <laughs> she goes, wah, 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 wah. No, wah, 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 wah cause wah. she got depression. Cut my wrist. Cause she got depression. Depression. I, how the fuck Cut do you sign wrist. depression? Uh, yeah, she goes wah Cut wah. my life into pieces. This <laughs> is my last resort. Who to the loo? <laughs> I hate nah. all of you. I hate all of you. I just want to give it to Dodds. <laughs> I want Dodds. Hell yeah! Points. Totally points. Points. It's it's so easy. You're literally right there. You've almost said it. You've almost said it accidentally. You just don't know it. It's so frustrating. She goes Cry wah 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 because she got depression. Pop Ryan cyst. I fucking Ill hate you. Yeah, no, it's fucking. I thought it was funny. It's, it's, she goes wah 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 because she got depression. I we, I would have not got that. I hate she all goes you. Wah 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 because she's got depression. Thank you. Motivational Already, stop sign, dude. It's it's pretty much you got it. Okay. Motivational stop sign. I was gonna put that. I almost put motivational stop sign down <laughs> as one. I literally <laughs> almost did. One. That's funny. I, I bet birthday Ryan. <laughs> 
Here we go. <laughs> Dude, I I can't finish it. That's Craft Bandicoot. Stop shitting on my lawn. Stop shitting on Stop my lawn. Shitting on my lawn. <laughs> yeah, <our> dodgy. <laughs> Dude, you guys, I gotta give you both the points there. That was too bad. Shit. I just exposed oh. them. I just exposed them. He just gave them. us all the answers. What the, all the answers. Ryan, what the hell? Ryan, what the It's Amaranth, sorry. That's oh, the we're watching the background? Yeah. What the fuck does that happen there? It's the uh, free game. No, it's, uh, it's the intro to the game. Nah, I guess. Yeah. Morris? Yeah. No, sorry. Uh, yeah. Pretty hot. Wait, what? Wait, hey, bitch. Why do you see my That's so yeah. weird. I don't like that. It's pretty awful. I hate it. Yeah. I'm it's the point of it. Anyway, yeah, oh. that, that's points for Dodds and Bart. You guys nailed it. <laughs> and extra points for doing the accent. Um, all right. Artie, you haven't got one, bud. No, I, I'm not meant to be good at this game. Uh, okay. Especially with a lag. Okay, here we go. This is this one's Artie's. This one's Artie's got this one in literally in the bag. It's un, un impossible for Artie to not get this one. Here we go. Is it Resident Evil? God damn it. No, that would have been so funny. <laughs> What's in Artie's pockets? Okay, stop trying to beat him out of this. This is his to win. Here we go. Get near. Artie is going to drink piss. Artie is going to drink piss. Yeah, I know what it is. I know what it is. I've already figured it out. I'm locking it in. So Artie, this is so I'm easy. Watching. This is so easy. Artie, Artie you got is going to drink piss. Moon cricket. Moon cricket, right? Moon cricket. That was like in like five. Can five. I give him a hint? Artie is going to drink piss. It's so easy. <laughs> All right, let him guess the first word. Give him the first, okay. the first word, Artie. Say it four times in a row. Artie. Artie. What's your name? It's, your name? It's your fucking name! <laughs> <laughs> Artie. Artie is. Is. Going. To. Going. Drink. Piss. <laughs> God damn it. going to swim. Close. Hey, Black Santa. Already. What's Ryan Artie? doing right now? Yeah. It's drinking Worcester sauce. No. No. Right? No. Okay. no. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh... You're NPCing right now. No, that's what is it? Artie is going to drink piss. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I got that right away, man. I was like, I didn't think there was a skill to this game, but somehow, like, like I didn't know. Can you not see? It was your name. <laughs> Artie, don't ever lose Dude, your hearing, man. I can't. I can't even. I can't even do the next one because I swear to God, the next one is Worcestershire sauce on my balls, and he said it for the last one. It's crazy. Let's see if he gets it. He's future pointing. <laughs> You know what? Future points. You got future points already. Good job. I right, got one. There you go. All right, I got two more. Right, got one. Two more. Last two. So what, was, what was this one? <laughs> it was Artie's going to drink piss. We said it three times. It's I'll Artie's going to drink piss. It was your name Ooh. followed by is going to drink piss. My that was not a common catchphrase of the show. It it's definitely like was. <laughs> Uh, Chicken was, milk. I, I didn't hear it too often enough. Chicken milk would have made sense. Chicken milk would have been I can't, man. I literally can't. Okay. Next one. Next one. Kiss my pussy, Jesus. Eat my pussy, Jesus. Kiss. Lick my pussy, Jesus. No. no. Kiss. Kiss my pussy, Jesus. Kiss. Kiss. It's my pussy juice. Yes! Oh, yes. It is. It is my pussy juice. Dude, you're on fire. He is killing it. I think it might be a tie game going into the final point. Gotcha. Final point. Here we go. Got the Blake one. It's worth all the points. So, Artie, I know it seemed like you were down and you thought you couldn't win this, but the final question's worth all the points. Here for him. Go. For all him. the marbles. For everybody. Here we go. Final one. I drank chicken milk, baka baka. I drank chicken milk, 
Baka baka. Uh, baby. Baka baka. <laughs> I drank chicken milk. Baka baka. Boobies. Baka baka. <laughs> oh, I drank chicken milk breast oh. milk. No. Baka baka. Yeah. <laughs> buck, buck. Buck, buck. Oh shit! I left the call out of excitement. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, that was great. I Should I just her. leave? <laughs> and I got so excited I left. <laughs> and I'm like, hell yeah! Baka baka! That's what I'm saying. Holy shit, that shit funny as fuck. <laughs> right, yeah, no, that was what it was. It was I drank chicken milk. Baka baka. Yeah. Chicken milk. Did you just say chicken milk? No, no, no. I didn't say chicken milk. No, I said yeah, definitely chicken milk. said chicken milk. And then said chicken milk again. And then <laughs> said breast milk. It was one of the craziest turn of events ever. But yeah, that was um, the whisper game, sandwich game, whatever you want to call it. Sandwich Artie's game. not good at it. <laughs> Dude, I didn't, got... It's crazy. Dodds came in here and fucking like swept the board immediately. It was like, oh, I'm nailing these. He just knows. You got any titties? I do, Duds. I have so many titties, and I saved them just for you, just in case you came. I got a couple now. I got a couple now. If you, are, I'm always getting these. So I don't know if you're going to be excited about this, but uh, I have to let everybody know that there's a war on women in Paris right now, and it needs to be stopped immediately. Uh, we gotta I've stop seen it. this. We gotta stop Who the else is in women. Paris, though? These ladies. Are they protesting now? Uh, uh, the war on women. No. 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 You know what the no best way. part is? The number no. one comment yeah. was not one pair yeah. of nice set. Not one nice set. Okay, come on. That's what the number one comment was. Come on. They are all holding no. their hands up, so it is like emphasizing. Like, Those no. ones are fucking saggy. They are a little bit, but okay, but would. Hold on. Are we... Nah, it's French. Yeah, but, but she's French and almost shaves her armpits. So, like, that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, no. Those uh, ones are all right. The past ones. The That's a back. dude. That's yep. just a dude with fat tits. Yeah. All right. Hey. Fat. That's another dude. Yeah, but one looks like Taylor Swift with fat. Yeah, dude. You're telling you know, me you're not gonna do Fat Taylor Swift? <laughs> Come on. I might. I might. I'd do Fat Taylor Swift. <laughs> Okay. It's crazy Taylor that Swift over here in she, France. she's not even like like that fat. Like she's not even that. But Taylor Swift is so not fat. Like she's like rail thin to be fat. Taylor Swift, you just have to have like fifteen <laughs> extra she pounds. More confident, those pants would be lower. I'm just saying. <laughs> that is true. The higher you wear your pants, the lower the confidence you have. It's so true. Yeah. <laughs> the, I wasted shit. Yeah, if you, you got your, if you got your look at that dude over there. Yeah, this one. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the women's bantamweight champion of the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, that's, a, that's a new trend swimmer. All right, that one. That one was kind of cute, right? All right, okay, yeah, we all yeah. agreed on whatever that one was. Yeah, all right, she's all right. Would kind of goth. Yeah, yeah she, I think she's gonna be on Kill Tony next week. Yeah, I yeah, and then, uh, but yeah, this guy talks about it for a while. I don't know, dude. I, I think it's just European Martin. Like he's just like, yeah, what up? I am Martin. I am here to do the black face in the Frances. And there's all these ladies doing their tits. I don't know. French what Martin. Yeah. Blue, I, they have some extra titty paint. It's a Borat accent. Players going? Yeah, I don't exactly know what they're doing, but this is all in front of the loop. Oh, that lady. Why is that one blue? Yeah, I'm not even trying. Oh, the shirt on. Yeah, this not even trying. Yeah, what do you even hear? Are you even protesting if you have your top on? That's what I said. Do you care yeah. about Israel or Palestine if your titties aren't out? That's what I say. Mm -hmm. It's like, do you even what? care about Ukraine if you don't paint your titties blue and yellow? Come on. Do they light themselves on fire? <laughs> they all just... <laughs> that would rule. It, no, they just burned their brows on fire. That was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I, I, yeah, it's kind of odd. It's in front of, like, the Louvre, too, like the where, like, the Mona yeah. Lisa shit is. Like, it's just... And I don't know what that symbol... The Mona Lisa. What... What is that? That's dick and balls. Women, oh, that's just how, like, describing your fucking flat tits. No, that's a dick and balls. No, they're tits. <laughs> that is funny. That's hieroglyph titties. <laughs> With the abdomen line. Yeah. It's like, oh, titty on side, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but whatever. I am 
pro uh titty out protest. Whatever you are, I'm yeah. I'm for that. Whatever. Just that one. Dude, a woman's body is not a battlefield. That's what I've been saying. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Well, well then then when you finish, where are you going to aim? No. It's love that's a battlefield. These people are so stupid. Yeah, it's... he's never heard of Pat Benatar yeah. at all. Obviously, Pat Benatar told us, women's body's not a battlefield. <laughs> <Okay>. Barracuda? Yes. <laughs> dun, 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 body not a beautiful battlefield. <laughs> if that's the case... <laughs> He hasn't shaved. The bush looks like the World War One trenches. Damn. You got, <coughs> she's got trench puss. <laughs> <laughs> that one got him. <laughs> yeah, trench not the puss. yeah trench puss is awful. It's like when you keep your finger in the in the bath water for too long and you keep your hands underwater for too long, it gets all fucking pruney and weird. Yeah, oh, where that's true. Trench puss. Yeah, if you're just sitting like waist deep in a hot tub all day, do you think it gets all pruney and weird? <laughs> uh, uh, let's try it, dude. Where's MythBusters on that? Hmm? Can yeah, we prune pussy some busters? Pussy? Can we? Yeah, can we prune some pusses, please? Twit busters. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go down the Dodds rabbit hole. Dodds, you want to do? You want titties? Uh, I know you. Dodds, massive fan of the Grey Cup. Always talking CFL to me. He's like, dude. You know, it's better yeah, than the NFL. Sense. The odds is always like, yeah, it's actually 13 players, wider field, smaller ball, dude. I fucking love it. Fuck off. Dude, he's fuck out up. there. He's like, <laughs> NFL ain't got nothing on the Canadian Football League. Dude, they're all just polite, and they ask if they can score a touchdown beforehand. They go, hey, bud, do you mind if I go in your end zone? And then the moose <laughs> looks at you all weird. It gives you, the moose gives you a side eye, and you go, bud, you back, yo, that's close enough, buddy. And the moose backs away, you get into the end zone. But, um... They spiced it up this week, and uh, the Grey Cup finals were happening. I know Dodds was watching. He was he really cared. Oh, yeah. And, I uh, still watch that. Dude, his two favorite teams were going against each other. Isn't uh, it like four teams? Yeah, that's the problem. Um, and, I'm, <laughs> and I think there was four teams, and two of them had the same name for like 50 years. It's one of the craziest <laughs> yeah, names ever. Yeah, the Rough Riders yes. and the Rough Riders. It's, no, the Rough <laughs> – no, you're saying it wrong. It's the Rough Riders and the Rough Riders. It's two separate names. I don't know how you're oh, not man. getting it. One is one singular word, and one's two words. It's different. So, <laughs> so but uh, – now Dodds' two favorite teams, the Toronto Argonauts and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers – we're in the Grey Cup final. Blue ballers. Got him. <laughs> Scorched. Hear that, you Winnipeg fucks? Dude, yeah. Martin's coming for you. You a fucking Winnipeg blue ballers team? Probably, because you they didn't. Lose? Yeah, they did. <laughs> they <laughs> rubbing salt in the wound, too. They lost their third one in a row, he to be Dodd's honest. Dodd's a big fan. A big fan, Dodd's is. Yeah. He's, he, okay. he's been keeping <laughs> They've gone to the last five Grey Cups and lost the last three. There's only like two teams. <laughs> exactly. It's just the final. I'm going to the finals means nothing. If you don't make it to the finals, you suck. Like, I could make it to the finals of the CFL at this point because I'd just be a fifth team. Just me. Just me. I'll play. Sometimes I'd make it. Like, be like ah, dude, somebody dropped out. Argonauts can't play this year. Just Ryan. <laughs> You can name yourself Ryan Rough Rider. No, I would be the Ryan Rough Riders. Thank you. I definitely would. And I would insist on it and I wouldn't change. I would go, no. But like, spell like DMX, like Rough Riders. Uh, you know, you best believe I'd be walking out to DMX. <laughs> Stop, drop, shut him down, open up, shop. Dude, that's gonna fucking. Ryan just fucking is a pit bull. He just has a bunch of pit bulls on his team. I would. No, it's just it's me. Yeah, yeah, it's just a bunch me. Of moose, a bunch of bulls. Oh, yeah, I'll get a bunch of mooses and bulls. <laughs> But mm, okay. crickets. So uh, yeah, some lady ran in on onto this the field and pulled her titties out. She was streaking. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you know why, right? Uh, she's Cause giving fucking... everyone blue ballers. Hell yeah! Because yeah, of back. the oiler Martin. chick. Martin, they're not safe. Fuck you, Winnipeg. Yeah. yeah. So, what this is it that Edmonton oiler chick? She got like Playboy uh, after showing her titties. Yeah, but that was my theory. That is yeah, a smart like, thing. Crack at a bridge after after that. Yeah, she was under a bridge yelling about it. So what? I pulled out my fucking titties at an Oiler game, bud. That's what we do down here. Fucking, uh, fucking, fuck off, you hoser. Pull out my titties whenever you want and get a Playboy contract for it. But you've all seen my titties, so what am I buying the Playboy for? Makes no fucking sense. Fucking dumb yeah. business model. They'll pay me 50 grand to come pull my pussy out. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about some weird Alberta pussy. It's crazy. 
I've been fucking right. Some ran tractors. through pussy. That's oh, a bye. ran through pussy. Bye. There's fucking 80 yeah. fucking people that all all been like, yeah, I fucked that. I fucked a Playboy model. They get to say that now. Think about that. There's a couple <laughs> of fucking uh, cow fuckers from Alberta cow that fuckers. go like, uh, dude, I fucked a cow playmate. Fuckers. He literally gets to say, I fucked a playmate because he ran yeah. through this disgusting chick from Edmonton. Sick tits. Yeah. Wicked tits. So does her uncle. <laughs> That's how it starts. Hell yeah. Dude, that's how you get it. That's how you make a good playmate. Yeah. Uncles <laughs> uncles are crucial in making good playmates. If you're an uncle out there, make sure to, I don't know where I'm going with this, molest your niece. <laughs> okay, whoa. This guy's tweaking. She's not even, dude, I would, Edmonton Oilers like, chick is oh, way hotter. Like, hey, so like, what's your Instagram? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's What's like, her Instagram already asked for? Yeah, it's not even that great. Fucking no, I'm, just, like, I'm just saying that's what the coaches. Yeah, those, those guys are all there. Like, yeah. That was probably the most exciting play from the Grey Cup. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna say Martin's blue ball joke was somehow <laughs> somehow terrible. that was the best play of the <laughs> entire <laughs> thing. Um, all right, well I'm glad you're here, Dodds. It seems it seems perfect. Because it's a new segment I'm trying to introduce, really reviving one from the dead. It's like an iteration of just just a shitty video, but it's time for the what the fuck video of the week. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, what the fuck is going on? So your guess is as good as mine. Oh. Sorry, yeah, you wanted that to go a little longer. I'll extend it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll do 15 minutes. Just the heck. <laughs> um, so, uh. I'm guessing this is what Jim Henson did before uh, he really figured out the Muppets, because this uh, he's the Muppet guy. I think I feel like oh. I made that clear in the in the, the statement. But he uh, <laughs> he he's the guy who made all the Muppets. <laughs> is he Kermit or did he invent it? Uh, I think he is both Kermit and invented it. Who's Blue? Who's Big Bird? Uh, that's Sesame, Sesame Street. Street. That's the different uh, entity oh. altogether. Yeah, that's completely. Wait, wait, who's the Who's the Ahmed the dead terrorist? You're like, you're like I, yeah, I think they're all controlled by Jeff Dunham. At the top of this Ponzi <laughs> scheme, it's all Jeff Dunham. But uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah, he did the Muppets, like Miss Piggy, Kermit, those guys who are in the top stand that I identify so much with at the plays that are always judging things, going, "Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah, well, oh, that, that fucking sucks. That's well, fucking gay and well, stupid." Oh, I Elmo's in there too, or no? Native, uh, yes, Elmo. Yeah, the tickle, tickle me version and non tickle me version, both him and the Saint Elmo's fire. Saint Elmo's fire, I believe he did that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Elmo knows fire safety. Um, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> God damn it, Artie. <laughs> anyway, here is uh. Um, one of those, I love bringing you these avant-garde art pieces, so, uh, enjoy. Oh, no. Your guess is as good as mine, what's going on here. Describe what you see. Yep. yep. Yo, a trick. Oh, wait, no, that's Kermit. Yep. Yeah, that's peak what? comedy right there. Is it? I'm pretty uh, sure... God, the audience clearly thinks so. This is... Obviously, an A24 production. That's a social assassin episode right there. <laughs> we don't have production values that good, Dodds. <laughs> yeah, Artie, if you made one of your costumes like this, if you and Jess could do this on Jardy, I it'd, it'd be a hit. You, would be I a got hit. the green paint somewhere. Yeah, if, <laughs> if you could go fucking knuckle deep inside Jess, make her talk, that'd be pretty sick. I don't even have to go deep. I don't know what that means. Is he sitting down or is he like just nope, standing? No, she's squatting. Yeah, no, she's doing like a squat-ish. Yeah, it's like a squat. He's doing a full slab squat. She's doing like some sort of... Well, it's kind of like how the puppet would go. See, here's the thing. Here's the twist. Oh, here we go. What? This is what makes it art. Damn, his hand's getting crushed. Do you think his wrist is sore? Do you, what do you think they complain about? Do you think they get off stage and go like, we did it? Like broad, we we made it to Broadway. Nailed it. They did they. Yeah. After that, would you prefer your daughter gets fisted on stage by Jim Henson or just does porn? Do you think his hands pruny after like he's been in the bathtub <laughs> for days? Trench puss. <laughs> he's got trench puss on his hands. 
Hell yeah. Um, he has to keep his legs crossed because he has a fucking raging hard on from this shit. No, this America's got talent. I don't feel like I would have a hard on. I don't think I would get a hard on from fisting a lady. Kermit the Frog. I don't think I'd. I don't know. With all those people Kermit looking the at you, like, I don't know. That would make you harder? Uh, if you fisted in front of an like, audience, that would make you harder? Yeah, it's like ex exhibitionism, isn't it? Are you are an what? enigma wrapped in a rapist i'm pretty sure <laughs> like i don't know what the fuck like you're like oh well i wouldn't actually have fun fisting someone in the privacy of my own yeah. home but if i could get no, an I audience if i could get like if we could rent out medieval times and i just fisted a lady to crowds of thousands while they ate chicken legs that's my idea of a saturday chicken milk chicken you're milk. ravioli Dude, we had chicken legs and chicken milk I mean, at medieval there's gotta times. be some sort of a power play Dude, that's great we only serve chicken milk that's great, but yeah, no, I um, I'll watch Artie if you're gonna. You're right. I I would prefer you fist in public because I'll watch because it turns into this. Or well, you can't do Kermit again. You have to do. Other Why is that like, lady oh. laughing? Like, it's dude, that lady. Thing. It's like got to be like an uncomfortable laugh or something. It can't be real. Like, there's no way that she's like. That's so funny. He's got her fist in her. Do you see it? Like, oh, that's her best friend though. She's yeah. Her. But it's like, or she's like an angry like old friend like Martin said. She's like, this bitch stole my idea. <laughs> oh, it's like us listening to other podcasts. We're like, oh, yeah. what the fuck? That's our thing. If she go, oh man, if she goes on Broadways and sees another person getting fisted as Kermit, she's gonna lose it. Ooh. She's gonna be so have mad. You had any next, ideas stolen lately? Uh, next act always. is gonna have a trout in there. <laughs> we did get one. Did we? What happened? Yeah. Uh, a radio show stole. Uh, who said what said who? No, they still guess who the what said who? Mm -hmm. How? When? Why? It's such a bad bit. Yeah. But they do it to, uh, to the listeners. They're like, oh, which one of us said that? And they call in and be like, yo, you said that. They stole our bit. That's fucking gay. I had a stroke they when I thought do, of that. <laughs> when I thought of that bit, they fucking fully stroked out. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I need the answer to the question. It's a It's the age old question of would you rather your daughter just be oh. a porn star? Or be fisted as Kermit the Frog on stage and calling it art, asking you to fisted. come. You'd rather just get fisted on stage. Like she's just doing porn. She's just doing live porn. Like there's somebody in the crowd that's jerking off to this. Like already said, like somebody, somebody's liking this. Yeah, but it, it's art. You would be able to look past this and go like, yeah. Oh, so what does your daughter do? You okay, go, this is do this once or is it like an? No, this is like her thing. thing. Like she's got it. She's got like a, a what are those? Like a tour in Vegas. Like what Britney Spears had, like she's gonna be doing it for a couple of years. I'd do this one. You'd do this one? Yeah, it makes more sense because the internet's there forever. Easily accessible to a lot more people. Both. We're watching <laughs> it. Like, what, like the internet's there forever. You're right. So you think no one's gonna pull out their fucking phone when Kermit's being fisted? It's crazy. <laughs> what if, like they initially had to lock up their phones and someone just got away with it. Yeah, you think they have yonder bags at the Kermit fisting yeah, show? First of I don't all, I'm not so. giving my at an event like that. I'm not giving my phone to nobody. Exactly. I don't know what no, in. dude, the yeah. fucking weird porn that's gonna come on my phone if I give this to somebody. Absolutely not. So I'm taking yeah. it and I'm filming everything that's going on here to prove that I wasn't involved. Because when the FBI comes knocking, I want evidence. But I was like, I don't mm. know. I don't even know what happened. I thought this was a musical. I was here to see cats. Yeah, but yeah. more less people are gonna see this. Well, than, technically, you saw something up a cat. You know what I mean? That's not true. That is actually not true. The amount of of, of daughters that are doing porn, it's an oversaturated market. The odds of somebody actually, um, like seeing my daughter's porn is pretty low. You think? You're right. I did find I my dad's porn on the internet. You know, yeah. you are making a valid <laughs> point with your eyes and your judgment. I can see it through, like I heavily. You are judging me, but like. That was a. I should honestly win the lottery, because like that's crazy. The you, odds. How many fine. dads are out there doing OnlyFans? Probably all of them, right? I would assume yeah. that. Like every you guys, is all dads do OnlyFans too, right? Bro, Maybe. I saw a crazy stat today. Some OnlyFans chick, she made forty something million, forty six million dollars in a year, and that was more than like three football players' like salary that year combined. Like, it was wild. And she's gonna be yeah, getting half of those salaries. salaries too. But what if the uh, salary football players are from the Grey Cup? No, they, you football realize football the Grey Grey Cup people already already. Let me tell you something about Canadian football. Okay, <laughs> yeah. when you play Canadian football, you need to have a second job. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, these guys are you're like paying construction them. workers. These are yeah, all... you're literally paying them to play. Like, yeah, these... make like more money. Just it's like a men's rec football. league. Yeah. Like the CFL is the equivalent of a pickup football game that happens in the park. Where it's just mm -hmm. like, if you show up and you kind of have the equipment, you're there. Like, there's actually a guy on the team who's not very good, but he brings the ball every week, so we have to let him play. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> it's like, oh, his dad's the coach, so he has to be here. <laughs> yeah, that's I, I, you're not wrong. CFL is unbelievable, but but I will make one uh, argument for the CFL. Their ball fucking rules. Their ball fucking rules. I have a pretty decently big hand too, and a foot uh, like a an American football is large. It feels it doesn't feel right. Like a, a a Canadian football is like almost like those um. Do you remember those Nerf whistle balls that you used to get in like the nineties, yeah. where you could just fucking launch them? When I got my hands on a CFL ball and I started throwing, I was like, oh, I can make the NFL. And then I got a real football and I was like, oh no, this is infinitely harder. Like it's like <laughs> it's like somehow the CFL. The reason they had to make the the field wider is because you can just bomb shit with this. This ball is like <laughs> it's like throwing a tennis ball. It's crazy. So. I think I think we should go with that because I would love to see a peak Tom Brady just throwing hundred yard passes with a CFL <laughs> ball. It's just like, oh yeah, it's first in a hundred, and Brady goes back and touchdown. Okay, cool. <laughs> 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 yeah, so uh, it, it's pretty sick. I, I I'm a big fan of that. Um, yeah, so that was uh, the what the fuck video of the week. I don't know what what how we got off there, but um, so you remember how I smoked cheese? A long time ago? Yeah, cheese long. I got cheese long. Um, I found something worse than cheese long. I found a combination. A little combination. Somebody did a combination bit of uh, cheese lung and the, and the hot gummy. So, um, oh. yeah. So, it's not the hot gummy. It is a California Reaper. So, he took a California Reaper, and he oh, no. is going to put it in his oh. bong, and he's oh, going to no. smoke oh. it. Now... I don't know how high he gets, but judging by his reaction, I would strongly not recommend this. This is a doom on the boomer doom scale. I would give this a doom. Uh, so, this is my bowl. This might be like one of the worst things to probably do. I'm going to rip a chunk off of this. Yeah, hold on. You got busted up a little bit. I don't have a grinder, so I'm just going to freehand it, you know. Do you think you get Blake to do this? I'm just gonna for see what much? happens I'm after we anything. maybe as like the halftime show for the uh, medieval times when we rent it out. <laughs> like when we have our medieval times fight, Blake will come in and be like, "Now for the cayenne pepper dab," and he fucking <laughs> puts. <laughs> Hell yeah, he's gonna do that fucking uh, that nitro sauce or whatever that million Scoville sauce, and he's just gonna get a little dab of it, just a little dab, and fucking hit that in a rig. Hell yeah. Along with this whole thing. Oh, chocolate yeah. edible. I don't know what's going to happen. I can, you can probably guess. Yeah, if you had to you guess. only live one. If you had you to guess. Is he a cancer patient? Is that why he's doing this? Yeah, he said I this is like, the final rip or something like that. I don't know. He might be dying. Yeah, he looks he, like it. He's already going through chemo. Yeah. Uh, he's just trying to speed it up or kill the cancer. The yeah, and already before you ask, it is not Mer. Just so you know. <laughs> to do something on YouTube. That sounds like the kind of guy that would, right? Fucking God, doesn't this feel like we? Doesn't this feel like we're going to get weed in high school and like we're over at somebody's house and he's making us hang out for way too long? We're like, fucking, yeah. We're like, I just wanted weed, man. He's like, no, no, dude, I'm about to hit a California Reaper. That's a hundred percent. And you're like, all right, I guess I'll hang out to see you. But then, then you're gonna be stuck there while he's drowning in his own vomit. And he's just like, uh, you're like, ah, oh, do I leave? Do I call an ambulance? Would he be upset? Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's like, no, you killed my buzz. It's like when you give someone Narcan. It's like, dude, I was fucking tripping balls there. Yeah, you literally want to leave, and he's like, bro, I just got this cool fucking... Yeah. Make you play this fidget Does he spinner. mix weed with it? Or... My mom no. just made me pizza bagels. Wow. <laughs> no, he just ripped off a piece of the Reaper and fucking pot packed it in the bowl. No chaser. Right? And there's nothing, no, no batch, no fucking uh, weed, no nothing. He's just going to rip it. So here we go. No, 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 no. I told you guys I was going out with a bang this year. Going out with a bang this year. Is this how we end it? This is, do you want to do it? You want to do Reaper Dad? Oh, fuck. You want to kill yourself? Let's see the reaction and then we'll choose. Okay, yeah, let's judge. Maybe it's not even that bad. 
Probably won't. Yeah, baby's fine. <coughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why would you go back for more? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't in fast forward. This isn't in fast forward. This is just how he's acting. Why did he send like Gandalf there? You shall not pass. <laughs> and there's he's... no way you can wash that out because it's in your lungs. No, it's in your lungs. You can't. You have to breathe the water. You have to walk yeah. alone. Hell yeah, Jethro Tull. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was autism. It just went. It happened. Somebody out there got it. Somebody was like, hell yeah, Jethro Tull. <laughs> Are you good? This is fine. Nope. 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 Is he good? No, he's good. Fuck, his face turned into a pepper. <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks like that his weird- lungs are a pepper now. <laughs> Maybe he should drink some doctor pepper. Holy shit, he like that. That was such a- Hey, Dude, I think he's lung throwing up. Like, yeah, he is. Like, you Holy know what? Whatever the equivalent of throwing up through your lungs is, is what he's doing. <laughs> like, it's like, yeah. Have you know? Have we seen those prolapsed fucking a asshole videos? <laughs> That's gonna happen. He's just like lungs just gonna come out of his mouth. That he's gonna he's gonna retract it back in. <laughs> he's good. So he's fine. You saw nope. the gang signs at the end. Look, he's good. He's like, yo, what up? Yo, gang, gang, gang. gang. We here. We the Pepper gang. I'm a Pepper. You're a Pepper. <laughs> All right. Well, if you want to do it, let's do so it. So what happened to him after this? I kind of need to know. No, nah, he died. He's just dead. <laughs> From this? Yeah, okay, no, nah, nah, opioids probably. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> I don't. I don't know what happened to him. I didn't do too much follow up research. What if he on... got so high that like he like you know what I mean? It's like a hallucinogen like he's just fucking um, in space yeah uh apparently according to this article if the article is supposed to be believed uh he temporarily went blind <laughs> <laughs> he said he was hallucinating oh there we go <laughs> uh so maybe he just hallucinated that he was blind pussy and uh uh <coughs> yeah so but it was only temporary that's yeah. it. Yeah, he just hallucinated, and right. then yeah, he temporarily went blind, and uh, yeah, so that seems pretty cool. I'd do it. I'd do it. <laughs> Dude, let's put that on the wheel. Let's put that on the fucking wheel. Add it to the wheel. Smoke the pepper. Let's fucking go. Yeah, I'm excited for the pepper. They're donated. Oh shit. Backyard fighting champ donated three Canadian dollars to say, <laughs> "I'm only here for AirPods." Is that? Is this Ralph? Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Is that Ralph? <laughs> Ralph. That's, he's the only champ. That's true, dude. That would be crazy if anybody else was declaring to be the backyard fighting champ. I'm just here for AirPods. Maybe he's uh, Ralph would have to fight them. <laughs> he's gonna fight everyone for AirPods. All right, you know what? It, Ralph gets all the AirPods. You just have to take it from him. <laughs> yeah, you have to go. Dude, he's just there in the backyard, and you have to fight him for the AirPods. Dude, that'd be actually sick. Smoke have you ever seen those gay out. things on the street where it's just like, yo, bring me this and I'll give you a hundred dollars. They hold up like a sign or something like that. It's like a TikTok. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. Raph stands there on the street with an extra pair of boxing gloves. And he says, fight me for AirPods. And he just gets people mm -hmm. to come out idea. there and he just fucking, they, we draw a chalk outline of an octagon and then they just, we get a referee with a stick. You know, with the yeah, fucking with the dope. with the flag stick like in the medieval thing. And then uh and, and then we just have them. We winner gets AirPods. If the rap taps out, AirPods, boom. How about Chicken this? milk for AirPods. You Chicken. put an AirPod on top of the head of a moose and a bull and try to get it from oh. see which one's easier. We will have sponsorships. Okay, now you're just being crazy. That was crazy, but we're gonna glaze over it. But what what isn't crazy is we're gonna get a sponsorship like body armor is for the UFC, but it'll be chicken milk. And so in between rounds, <laughs> we'll hand them some chicken milk. Which will probably be hot because we'll be out in the sun all day. It'll just be some hot chicken milk. Nuggets cold chicken milk, milk hot. Chicken milk. <laughs> That's baka chicken baka. Milk, chicken milk. But yeah, ref, you are entered in to get some AirPods now. Almost guaranteed at this point.
uh to, to get that but uh yeah yeah congratulations you just won congratulations <laughs> you pretty much won airpods uh yeah, pretty fucking sick but yeah this uh all brought to you by the kevin tierney store if you haven't hit up the kevin tierney store to buy merch uh i don't know what you're doing we were if you had a high school sweetheart that went away and texted you because they found another guy then this shirt's for you this shirt is exactly what you need right there. It's got all of your feelings on there. You can buy it up into 5XL. He designed I like it himself. Your version better. Mine is pretty sick. But this one? Yeah. This one? He designed it himself. You're telling me that's not good? He, oh, he, he opened MS Paint and spent three to four minutes drawing this. And you're telling me that's this not worth 30, 35 Canadian dollars, but 10% off because it's Black Friday. So, yeah, go check it out. That's why it's brought to you by the Kevin Tierney store. Black Friday sale (laughs) extended. So, yeah, go check that out. You can get 50% off digital digital. products. Does that mean the autograph? Wait a second. Does that the autograph? Hold the fucking phone. We might be able to get a Kevin Tierney autograph 50% Is that a pillow? (laughs) Holy shit, waifu pillow. Kevin Tierney (laughs) headshot (laughs) pillow. Dude, I would cut a hole in it and do ungodly yeah. things. Dude. Oh, Can you activate the, the, the feature where it turns into three pillows? Dude, I, it's, if oh, you slap I it, I don't get the you, reference there. If you slap it, it turns into three <laughs> pillows. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Right. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. 50% off fan picture. 50% off. He will Photoshop you into a picture with him. Happy birthday, Ryan. <laughs> Dude, that would be pretty sick. And wait, there's an autograph too. I'm, where's the autograph? But wait, there's more. But wait, Fan picture. there's more. There's just a phone case and uh. For what, what phone? What phone? What does it say? I think you can get it for any phone. No, yeah, select size. Holy shit! Oh. It's every iPhone. Only, only iPhone. No, if you're an Android gay bitch, <laughs> get, get fucked. Get fucked, like me. Who the fuck uses an Android still? I, I do. Stop hurting Ryan. my feelings. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, look over there. It's your dreams. Hey, do you see that? Hey, look. It's everything you've ever wanted. Right over there. How much for a 5XL? You can get the 22 by 22. That'll go 47.17. An odd price. An extremely odd price for a pillow. Blank. Yeah, it's a uh, four. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, you're right. It is somehow blank. Oh, that was the backside. Oh, this is the square version. You get uh, yeah. If you want one for your couch. <laughs> <laughs> if you want yeah. this as like a fucking centerpiece in your house. That would be awesome. <laughs> oh, don't sit on that. That's a decorative pillow. No, 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 actually, he's making bank off this. Dude, if you fucking, you have to like pull that off the couch. Just for the memes. Yeah, I hope so. Dude, I want one. I'm like, I'm considering buying one. My I dr- know, me too. My dreams. Like, what, can you even <laughs> believe in them if you don't have this pillow? What's going to keep reminding me to keep believing in them? I'm probably going to kill myself <laughs> if I don't get it. So, yeah, keep uh, donating slurs like Ralph did uh, to so I can uh, one day achieve my dream of getting a Kevin Tierney pillow. So that's it. If you, you, Christmas is right around the corner, guys. If you guys want to uh, want to make a, somebody happy in your life, buy them a Kevin Tierney pillow. Don't even explain the joke. Just get them it. You're like, did you just print an autis- autistic on a pillow and give it to me? You're like, yep. That's what I did. And then just that's my cousin. <laughs> just do that. That's that's the key. That is, uh, that is the way of the future. I'm very excited for uh, everything that Kevin Tierney will be doing. Uh, follow him wherever he goes. Um, hmm. All right. Do you care about the hottest dick contest? Is that with the, like, Carolina Reaper again? Sort of. It's actually, like, we're just going to see hot dick. Do you guys want to see some hot dick? Is it Blake's? Maybe. I'm assuming this is what Blake's doing. <laughs> well, the, I didn't want to tell you guys. Blake's taking place in the hottest dick contest. That's why he couldn't be here this week. He was out. He was, he was spent time. He oh, was, I have to marry himself. Sure. He was, he was selected for the hottest dick contest and he made it to the finals. So, uh, check him out. All right. Whoa. 
Mike's looking good though. He's good. He's crushed. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's how my dick feels when I pee right now. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what kidney fail failure piss feels like. He just ran out of his pants. Now he's gone. He just left. <laughs> Never he, to be seen again. He left, and he just left his burning, stinking pants on the ground there too. Like he didn't even like wait for it to be put out. Like somebody just has to now clean that up. Like it's on fire on the stage there. He just kicked the, kicked it off, and then ran in there. Yeah, that's what he did. He, I don't know. That guy's a fuck, that guy's a big fucking liar, dude. Move Africa. Yeah, likes in Africa. Yeah. Well, you know, we did find out he's his a race. Liar. No, we did What's find out his lie? race this week. His race is anything that what? fits the bit. <laughs> so that, yes, he is actually African. He's African-Canadian. You didn't know that about him? <laughs> it's true. He, and he's got a hot dick. <laughs> Always said that. Yeah, bit, like I said, he's a fucking liar, liar, dude. Why? Move. Wait. Why? Oh. What's the joke? You're a liar. Wait, you liar. said it twice. Pants are on fire. Oh, okay. All right, oh, honestly, it's it's all right. I just didn't get it. I just didn't get it at all. You just said it twice, and I was like, I don't know what you mean. He's a liar about what? Oh, You're now I'm upset that I didn't get it. It was actually pretty good. It's actually so bad that it was good. Anyway, Move Africa is a fucking cell phone company. Yeah, I was. I looked it up too. It didn't seem like it was anything. Like it was no. like nothing. Basically, yeah. freedom. Yeah, it's just, yeah, that's all it is. Freedom Mobile. It's America? No, it's it's African. Uh, <laughs> that kind of freedom. freedom I don't know yeah. nothing of that sort. Anyway, um, you mean like you mean like house yeah. and field? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, Dodd. So we actually used Martin's Stargate to go through time to get a video of you from the future. So. Oh uh, me? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I actually jumped through time. We did a little time loop. Oh, I got one too. You got one too. Well, send it my way. But uh, uh, I've actually found Dodds from the future. He's gotten a couple of young bitches, and he's got himself a hot tub, uh, a bucket of ice full of beers, and some empty, uh, like, I don't know, some sort of hard liquor bottles. But Dodds is having the time of his life in the future. you got a lot to look forward to, Dodds. Check it out. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> People wouldn't know I was rich, but there'd be signs. <laughs> yeah, if, yeah, if Dodds, did, uh, Dodds got like 48 grand somehow, if Dodds stumbles into 48 grand, <laughs> you're gonna, he's going to have an indoor hot tub and a couple of fucking prostitutes. It's going to be sick. But I, I saw something interesting in this video. I don't know if you guys see the same thing that I see, is that there's a moment of pure fear in old Dodds' eyes. That, here. that old man yes. when he thought he was going to get drowned. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you saw the same thing. He was like, this is all too good. These chicks are going to kill me and rob me. It all flashed over his eyes so quickly here. Watch. Watch him. She grabs the back of his head. He's like, hell yeah, that feels nice. Play with my hair. This is great. Ass in the face. Watch. He was, he was like... Oh, he thought he was going to die there. <laughs> she pushed his head down right there. When he had both the ha hands right there, he was like, oh, shit, is this happening? And then he gets it. He's like, okay, no, it's fine. He definitely oh. thought it was all over, and now he's uncomfortable, and he's nervous, and he's like, wait, no, we're going to play it off. We're good. I already sent it to you. You sent, you sent it's in your DMs. I sent it to you before. Yeah. You did? slid into your DMs. Same you text from the French yeah. protest? Yeah, they did have sad titties. They were Latinas. pretty deflated titties. What did you send me, Duds? It's in your fucking. This is literally <laughs> the last. Thing I typed know? in Dodds in the wild drinks juicy shores with big titty chick. Can <laughs> uh, you resend it to me? I don't have it or like tag it. No, it's me. in your fucking clever name podcast right here. We I DM'd you and yeah, we'll send it again. Should be the first it. thing, Ben. It's not. It's you probably. mean you can't see it? I can see it right here. In my DMs from November sixteenth. In yeah. my my DMs from you. Discord DMs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I was looking at the wrong one. This <laughs> this is it. Yeah, well fuck you, you piece of shit fucking look at you, you fat ginger fuck with your fat wife drinking juicy shorts. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> you fucking and then, <laughs> and then, and then just... I typed in muscle mommy and this is what came up. <laughs> 
Dude, it looks like it says Juicy Fart Girl Cellar Dots. <laughs> That's what I was it does. I literally, okay, this is what I wrote. I was like, girl in Chun-Li costume takes a shot with Dots in the wild. And this is the next one. Yo. <laughs> I'm also I'm mommy girl, girl in Chun-Li costume. Dots, I'm kind of interested in getting you this shirt that says Juicy, juicy Fart Girl Cellar no, Dots. Juicy Fart Girl Cellar Dots. This is a, that's a Chun-Li costume, apparently. Well, it does. Um, well, give me one What's second. What's wrong with that girl's nipples? She has <laughs> she has upper and lower nipples. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Dads, I want to share something. It's a Teletubby costume, but I typed in Chun Li and then look at my shirt. Chun <laughs> Street Fighter. Chun <laughs> Street Fighter. Dude, Dads. you're fucking. What's the name? Zangief. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I I have something so crazy that I made for you. Four years ago, and it became completely irrelevant. <laughs> up until yeah, yeah, I found it just the uh, just the other day, and I have it here. It's it's a it's a physical item. So uh, give me one second. You Ooh. feel free to speculate on what it is. Is it the shirt you made me? Is four, it make four inches great again? Right, the red shirt. <laughs> the Modelo. People don't forget. I guarantee it's the shirt. You made me a shirt once. I never picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's frozen. Yeah, he's always fucking frozen. He has like five feet of snow over there. There's no snow in Barry, bro. I have no snow in here. My friend Ash went to Erie to go shopping in America, and Erie's literally shut down. Like, nobody's allowed in or out. Yeah, it's all going to fucking Buffalo in that whole area. Yeah. There's nothing <laughs> on the other side. So she's not allowed to leave. Like it's literally like emergency. So I do. Is that the shirt you made me? Yeah, I do. Also have that shirt that says "Make Four Inches Great Again" in Trump <laughs> light. I do also have that. Yeah, yeah, but because you guessed yeah. that, I chose the uh, second one that you also you made me a second shirt. Yeah, the one that you also asked me to make. Is that a that dolphin? Says. Cup Cup your your shirt shirt together. together. I need that, yeah, for Dan. It's the exact font that Dan got tattooed (laughs) on him. This is what Dan's leg tattoo looks like. Exactly like that. It says cup your shirt together. There's no way it says something else. It literally two U's in a cup. Yeah, it's an odd U. The the S is weird on the shit. Everything is weird. It was so weird. The guy literally just be shit already. It's the same shirt. The, literally the guy in the fucking store just typed it into the thing and was just like this is how we do it we type it into word and you could just choose a font and it picked a random font and Dan went yeah that mm. one looks good and then I was like oh, oh, okay wow. and it looked terrible and then I didn't want to say anything because he said it looked good so then he just fucking forever yeah. has that yeah. Oh, dude. And yeah Dodds, I do have your uh, your other one there too but, so yeah you know whenever you want to get it if you want to make four inches great again it seems more relevant he, than he, that. He also has a Gengar and a fucking tyr- Tyranitar Yeah, he showed, he showed me. It was pretty awful. But yeah, anyway, it's pretty good. Yeah, if you ever want to get a uh, Trek up here, dope shirt. together, you can, dope get, shirt. you can cut your shirt together anytime, dude. That's a one of a I kind. I can cut my shirt together, Can we buy that on the website? No, nope, you can't. That's an exclusive. That's a one of one. Oh. Big four inches great again, yeah, but it's a one of one. You can't you can't get that anywhere else. So yeah, but yeah, what, I love how it's on a hanger. Like you have it just on. I a have hanger. it hanging in my closet. It's literally just <laughs> hanging in my closet. What a nice guy! Forever. It's not like folded in a pile. No, like... forever, it, dude. It moved houses with me. It's crazy. Can you put that in my casket when my kidneys fail. Yes, I'll lay it down <laughs> on your casket when you die. Anyway. All right, sense. thanks everybody. Go check out Rumble. Go check out Dodds in the Wild. Once his kidneys. Oh, how much are you making now? Uh, on Rumble, how much you want to guess, dude? Yeah. You couldn't even guess. Like you're probably at like sixty-two cents. Wow, that's embarrassing. I really don't like that you said that because that's really downplaying our achievements of oh, 52 cents. So like you kind of yeah. oversold us. So like now I feel discouraged. So if you want to get us to <laughs> sixty-two cents, like Dodds thinks we deserve, open up a Rumble account and just let it play. Just let that bitch ride. Fucking like and subscribe or whatever the fuck people say. Anyway, thanks, everybody. You go to the website. Go Jardy tomorrow. Fucking what's it about on Monday? Dodds whenever he's not dead. And most importantly, keep your shit together. Clap your shirt together. Clap your shirt together. Clap your shirt together.
Me gusta este podcast. Muy bien, ¿cómo es que?